fix that. Uh, while I'm eating. You just now realize that you can play video games while eating. Okay, you ready to see the two new Pokemon I got? That's really cool looking. Sure. sure. Here's Robot Hydrogen, also known as Iron Jugulus. Oh. Yeah. Next one is Robot Santa Pokemon, or Robot Delibird, also known as Iron Bundle. I, uh, I see. Yeah. What's that? Oh, that must be the Dung Beetle to the... Yeah, it's the... Right of them all? Yeah, it's the evolution. I'm glad I don't have to do that, because to get this, you have to walk a thousand steps. Oh, not another one of those ones. Yeah, I got all the 1,000 step Pokemon. Thank fuck. That's good. Is this its final evolution? Yeah, that's its final evolution. Where the babies inside the, the fucking crap. Uh. Don't you just love Pokemon? <laughs> well, technically it's mud. <laughs> yeah, uh, also, yeah, as you can see, my Pokemon have gotten a lot higher leveled. <laughs> e. Changes battle form? Oh, yeah. Uh, it'll move you. Oh, yes. can you, like, use Maridon as a fighting partner now? Yeah. Fish. Are there any evolutions of Maridon or? No. Oh, we found out something. No, the cyclists are the little green lizard motorbikes. Yeah. Yeah, this is what it looks like in the future. Oh. Boom. Look at this boy. Damn. The game will let me. He's got a long tail. Sadly, you can't ride him when he looks like this. Ah. Uh -huh. Dang it, he's still got the backrest, though. I know. Be really cool, though. Mm hmm. Let me get my Pokemon back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Alright, let me go get my food. Okay. Yeah, you get full permissions to entertain the stream. I get full permissions to entertain the stream. Guess I'm now in charge of entertaining the stream. I don't know what to do about that. I'm just looking up sharks. That's all I'm doing. I'm back. Oh, that didn't take long. No. Man, I got a refrigerator in my room for a reason. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's a Mexican horned shark. What? <laughs> you heard me. There is a Mexican horned shark. I don't know why, but my mind immediately shut off as soon as he said the word Mexican. So all, <laughs> so it immediately sounded like to me. He said, "Oh, there's a Mexican." Oh God! <laughs> what the? F no. <laughs> White spotted bullhead shark. You're a pretty boy. Oh. Damn it, I'd like to have been able to do my vacuuming, but. Uh.
All right, North Province Area 1. Ah, so over here. Oh, wow, I've barely... I haven't even gone to here. I don't know why I haven't caught that Pokemon that I need to get, which is the Cotton one. The Cotton one. Yeah, the Final Evolution Hoppip. My question is, why is it that they don't have all the Pokemons in it? That would be up to a thousand. Yeah. And? They could do it. Show the, show the true diversity of the Pokemans. It would have been so... Yeah. As you could tell from uh, Dragon's thing, uh, at the end of the game, the beginning of credits, they played an Ed Sheeran song. Uh, great. Well, I, don't, I don't think I caught this. Oh, wait, no. That's right. I got in, in Global Trade thing. Never mind. I got that on the Pokedex. I don't need you. Uh -huh. Well, that was kind of rude. I don't care. The only thing that's going to suck is to get the treasure chest to evolve. You have to collect 999 coins. Yeah. And when you find one of those little guys, it's uh, one coin. Pretty much most of the time. Come on. So wait, and it is... Are they the only ways to get the coins? Uh, yes. Either that or kill them. And that's it. And they only drop oh, a can... max of 20 coins. The... Do they, like, give you coins, like, if you have them as a Pokemon? No. So you absolutely have to go out killing them? Yep. That is absurd. It's not the worst thing I've seen in Pokemon. There's actually one thing that's really funny in Pokemon. In order to evolve a Steelix, which is just a giant rock snake, meaning no arms, you have to put a metal coat on it. I see. <laughs> And then trade it to someone else. Oh. Then trade it okay. back <laughs> and you get it. Oh, look. Just the motherfucker we were talking about. Punch the chest. I'm about to murder your ass. I've seen things that look like these guys do a lot of things in uh, certain media. Oh my gosh, Hatchet. Oh wait, the child isn't here. I've seen these things do a lot of stuff in hentai. <laughs> oh shit, I got 50 from that. Maybe because it was oh. high leveled. Oh wait, that's not what I wanted. Now I need to go over to here. I need to find Gimme Ghoul coin. Let's see how much I got. Damn, if I can find the damn coins. I got 203 Shinx Fangs. <laughs> mm. I think I've killed a lot of Shinx. I don't know what those are. Uh, they're small, um... Fuck, what are they called? They're called... I know they're endangered in, like, Europe. The Lynx? Lynx. Oh, those. Well, I could have guessed that. I was just, like, not knowing the Pokemon. Uh, well, it looks supposed to evolve into a Lynx and look like one. Uh -huh. 
Lynx are such pretty cats. Oh, Jesus. My throat's slowly dying because of, of the kid voice I did for a long period of time. Oh, dear God. Yeah. Gosh, damn, where's... I have 128. Did you need nine hundred? How many? Nine hundred ninety-nine. My brain, for some reason, registered the amount that you needed as like nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. Oh dear God! My head hurts. I am not thinking that straight. I do not have this Pokemon, so might as well just catch it since it's here. So, are you confident that you'll still have more Pokemon to play be uh, for the entirety of the uh, subathon? Yeah, I'm still gonna keep playing. Nah. Oh, there's just a Pokemon staring dead at me. And while I'm fighting, which is terrifying. Wait, what? What's going on? Oh yeah, lion, lichen rock. In its common collected demeanor, it swiftly closes in on its prey, then slices them with it with the rocks in its mane. Kids game. That seems highly. That seems highly in, inefficient. <laughs> BAM! Yeah, that motherfucker. It just attacked me. It was just staring at me the entire time I was fighting. Oh, so that thing's an evolution of Rockruff? Yeah, that, that dog one. Uh, I, I accidentally killed it. You, you should probably put the crocodile away, Bray. <laughs> Wait, do I have false sleep somewhere? That would be useful if I have false swipe. <gasps> yes! And look, Lemon can use it. If you... Yeah, I think the child had mentioned that. Oh yeah, Lemon has... Uh, you... Well, I can get it back, but... Lemon has the ability to summon dragon meteors. Oh. There's nothing wrong uh, with now that. I guess so yeah now I guess focus on using lemon mm-hmm yeah fall swipe is very useful because it knocks them down to one health and and if you keep using it it doesn't hurt them uh -huh. Actually, there's a lot of Pokemon around here I don't have. I don't have these guys. Oh, these guys! No, oh, no, not Spoink. You know... You know how they survive? Yeah, like, it, they have to keep hopping to survive. Yep. Or Spoinks. Like, doesn't that mean they might die inside a Pokeball? Probably. This is very inhumane. <laughs> oh my god! Spoink the Bounce Pokemon. Using its tail like a spring, it keeps its heart beating by bouncing constantly. If it stops, it dies. What? They kept Why? it back. They continue doing it. <laughs> Why are you putting that in the middle of your damn kids game?
I think this is how you spell it. Paralysis? Is that how you spell it? Paralysis? Per no, it's. I don't know how to spell it, but that's definitely wrong. There's an spell L in there. Spell paralysis. Somewhere. You mean me? No, I'm talking. I said, sir, the only thing I didn't do was that I didn't add an L right there. Yeah. Right in, in front of the L. <laughs> paralysis and paralysis to the box. <laughs> Alright, buddy. <laughs> Nice knowing you. And now oh, it's his mother. <laughs> oh, is oh is this the evolution? Yeah. Oh. Wait, what the fuck is that in the background? Oh, that's the ostrich. Oh, okay. It looked weird from that angle. I'm surprised you're not even questioning why an ostrich is not even in the desert. I've got, I, my head hurts too much to question every little thing I see. <laughs> also, I found out the nest balls are really good. Because apparently, um, as long as the Pokemon is a lower level than your Pokemon you're using, it has a high chance of catch rate. Really high chance. Hmm. I did not know that. Well, in that case, do you oh. want to? In that case, do you want to save them for like actually like more difficult to catch Pokemon? Probably. <laughs> oh yeah, let's use the Master Ball and the Grump Pig. No, just use the standard Pokeball. You still have sixty-six of the fucks. Yeah, I need to go over and get uh, Ultra Balls. And probably more nest balls if I can. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. They're good. Grumpig, the manipulate Pokemon. It uses black pearls to amplify its psychic power. It does a strange dance to control foes' minds. Wait, was the Spoink? Also a psychic? Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize that. Boom! Is that all the evolutionary lines from that thing? Yep. And look at- Look, another Pokemon I don't have. <coughs> oh, what the fuck is- What the fuck is this? Okay, so Hatchet- the first, it has two types. The first type is grass. What do you think the other type is? I'm guessing fire. Well, you actually got it correctly. It's fire. Well, it's got a red head. What? You... Yeah, this is supposed to be based off peppers, by the way. Ah, uh, why are they, why are there angry peppers staring at you? I don't know. Oh, Jesus Christ! Hey, holy fucking hell! What did these peppers take? Steroid peppers. There we go. Let's see what the... What it's... What the Pokedex has to say about it. Before I... Chew this chip. Scovillain. Spicy pepper Pokemon. The green head has turned vicious due to the spicy chemicals stimulating its brain. Once it goes on a rampage, there is no stopping it. Okay. Oh, you missed the perfect chance to call that thing bright. Oh, I didn't catch this guy. Is this the Einstein bird? Yeah. Oh Jesus, uh, lemon. Yeah, you might wanna, you might wanna use a different Pokemon. Or oh yeah, there's also those. <laughs> oh, 
Imagine if you were doing a Nuzlocke. Oh, hell no. I would actually be interested in seeing you do a Nuzlocke. I have actually done it once. Like, not streaming, but I've done it. Mm. It is very nerve-wracking. I've only exactly. lost one Pokemon in Nuzlocke, which is really good. Ah. And it was the starter. <laughs> Yeah, maybe at some point you should do a Nuzlocke stream. Or a handful of Nuzlocke streams. Mm. Normal and flying. What an absolute waste. Alright, I can still read it. I forgot. Uh, Rufflet, the egglet Pokemon. With the sharp's claws, this Pokemon pierces its prey and then pe it pecks at them. Although it is also consumes berries, it's a carnival at heart. Wait, carnivore at heart. Why did I say carnival? <laughs> carnival. Might as well just catch this as I couldn't. Indeedy. Yeah, the main reason why I like reading uh, Pokedex entries is because not everyone in the server, as well as people who watch my streams, don't know every Pokemon. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, it's fair. Yeah. I think once I run out of regular Pokeballs, I'm gonna go get Ultra Balls and Nest Balls. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, of this Pokemon I just caught, there's a a female and a male version, they're, but they're different Pokemon. Don't, Don't question it. Sorry, Bray. I'm going to question it. Yeah. Indeed, the emotion Pokemon. This Pokemon never leaves its trainer's side. It protects their actions with its psychic power and takes care of their day-to-day -day needs. It's also known as the Butler Pokemon, because it's been used as a Butler in a lot of Pokemon anime. <laughs> in the Pokemon anime, it was first introduced. Yeah. Used as a what? Butler. Oh, Butler. What do you think I said? Something along the lines of butt fur. Butt fur. <laughs> it has a furry butt. I'm very tired. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, wait, they put both the female and the male in the same Pokedex entry? Okay. Huh. They didn't do that in the game they were introduced in, but I will gladly take it up on their offer. <laughs> oh, yeah. And not a lot of people like this Pokemon, but some people did not like it when it was first introduced. Because it's basically meant to be a Mexican wrestler. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh, mariachi. Yeah. Its name is Halucha. Yeah, it seems kind of cultural appropriate y. Yeah. Then people forgot about it. Probably because they started making the fucking sombrero cactus spawn outside of every Mexican restaurant. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, Pokemon doesn't seem to have the best history with cultural representation. <laughs> Did Lucha use the move to, like fly up and then hit me but apparently lemon moved out of the way so they fell to the ground and died <laughs> that can happen yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious
Hey, Duffy. I'm not finding the Pokemon I came here to find. What did you come here to find? Uh, it's it looks like cotton, so obviously. Oh yeah. Oh wait, did you say that Lopunny is in this game? I, I'm not. No, I don't. I have not confirmed that, nor do I know if they are or not. Oh. I have I have the list, but I can check. I do know they add a guard for. Yeah, I would be very hyped if Lopunny could show up. I'm looking. And I could fawn over sexy bunny girl. Pokemon. Oh yeah, you know how they they said uh, you could um you could basically uh, trade in a Paldean Whooper for a regular Whooper. That yeah, does yeah. that doesn't get added to the Pokedex. It does not exist in the Pokedex, like the regular Whooper. So in other words, it's just an absolute waste. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, they brought... We will never, tr we will never trade Lechonk. They brought Salazzle in. Who's Salazzle? The very female toxic lizard. Oh yeah. Hot. So far, I'm looking. I do not see Low Punny. If there is no low punny, I'm going to have to bump down this game score by 50. Still looking. Have you ever heard of the, uh, Control F? What? Have you ever heard of Control F? Uh, no. If you do control F, you can search for specific words on the text documents. Oh, no, I'm on my phone, so. Oh. Yeah. Fuck. Nope, I got to the bottom. There's only 400 Pokemon in this game. And some are version exclusive, so I will need Dragon. Oh. Yeah, they do have every game. Version exclusives. Yeah, I, I figured as much. Some bullshit. I got the culturally appropriated bird. Yay. I'm so happy you currently own the cultural appropriation bird. Are you gonna have to evolve it? Oh my god. No, it doesn't evolve, but Halucha, the wrestling Pokemon. Halucha lives quietly without flocking together. They fight constantly with their natural enemies, noisy groups of primate. <laughs> That's an awful. amazing Pokedex entry. Absolutely awful. Oh god damn it, I already have you. Oh wait, I didn't even notice that. Hmm? But on the side of the low kick's uh, arms, they put a cancel sign. Oh. And you know how to say say it hurts them too much that they don't really use that much their side of their those back arms as much. That's kind of oh, yeah. That's kind of funny to put a cancel sign there. Good thing I have 92 revives because I thought the Pokemon League would be harder, but uh, uh. but Grand Inferno basically took most of the league down by himself. Damn. <laughs> there were even Pokemon I weren't even weak to fire and he just one shot at them. Oh, well that's mainly- oh. 
Yeah, you see that weird black piece, or like black bar that's next to Grand Inferno? Yeah. That's uh, an item that boosts the power of fire type moves. Uh oh. So, not only when you, when you stabilize them, do they grow in strength, but <laughs> when I, <laughs> that item also doubles it as well. So, <laughs> it's like four times as powerful. <laughs> Oh yeah, I need to catch these guys. I gotta catch the dragon birds. Oh yeah, this is a dragon. I beg to differ. Why do you not believe it's a dragon? Cause look at it. Just, just fucking look at it. I like introducing new Pokemon to you because I love your reactions to some of them. <laughs> well, I mean, most of them that aren't like new to this generation, I have already seen. Yeah. Well, okay. It's Evolutions of Dragon type. That's right. I forgot. Swablu, the Cotton Bird Pokemon. It can relax if it, if it or its surroundings are not clean. It wipes off dirt with its wings. Uh, absolute waste. I did not want to attack another child. Oh, wait, the evolution is right there. Oh, shit. Oh, well, that makes it easier. Now I just don't have to kill it. There's only question or problem right now. Oh, there's there's a tumbleweed. There's a tumbleweed. <laughs> Why did the tumbleweed disappear? Oh no, it knows takedown. This is bad. What does takedown do? Granted, it does attack them and everything. Oh fuck. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. But anyway, it does attack them, but it also takes some of your health when you attack. Okay, that's probably as low as I'm gonna get it, because yeah, you're gonna use fucking takedown. Oh, Lemon moved. Lemon just casually moves one step to the side. <laughs> it didn't even look like he did that. It looked like he just, like, took, took like, a, like, he just like slightly shuffled its pixel. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, come on. That move is why a lot of people are afraid of this Pokemon. What does it do? Well, basically, it's called Perish Song. Basically, once it's sung, both uh, both the Pokemon we're looking at will die in three turns. However, if the Pokemon who sang the song is taken out, they will live. But the other Pokemon will die. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's terrifying. You might want to use one of your better balls. Yeah. Is this thing lower level than you? Yeah. Yeah, use one of those things. Well, I also got something even better than that. One Ultra Ball. Ah. Uh. That I found on the ground. Damn it! This is actually bad because there's only one. It perish count fell to one. That means after this turn, if I, if it does not get caught, both Garchomp and Altria will die. Damn. 
And we're well, gonna die. <laughs> rip. You might want to just evolve that thing yourself. Yeah, you might want to just look up how to evolve that little one. Actually, it depends on how much candies I got. Because if I think I only have to level up once, and I can evolve it. Hmm. Well, well, we'll leave to evolving later until after I catch all the much Pokemon as I can. Yeah, as many of the base ones. Oh yeah, you know that doggo I found. Mm -hmm. This is actually the midnight version of that dog. Is it another Pokemon entry? No. It's the exact well, same Pokemon, just a different version of it. Well, you should still catch it because it looks cool. <laughs> I just Dick leave. face. Well, it's not the Pokemon I'm really looking for. It said it would be over here, which is just a Pokemon that's made out of cotton. Where the fuck are you, you son of a bitch? Eh. Oh, Ghastly and Haunter. Have Don't... you caught these guys? I haven't gotten a Haunter, but I need a Ghastly. I mean, no, mm. I have... No, I've caught a Ghastly. I haven't gotten a Haunter. Uh... Get it right, Bright. Oh, shit. Normal type moves don't work on Ghost. Which means I can't use False Swipe. Oh. Please don't die. <laughs> Fuck! It's dead. The Ghost dies. Where's the second one? Where the fuck you go? Maybe he saw you one shot his friend and he's like, nope, nope, I'm out of here. Oh shit. An Eevee evolution. It makes it easier because I don't have to look for stones. Please don't tell me that's a hurting move. Oh god damn it, of course it is. Fuck. This fairy is gonna end up killing themselves. This game does not seem to like you very much. No, it does not. God damn it. Even try. Wait, I just realized something. The 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 big fin on his back. There's a chunk taken out of it. They evolve with that chunk taken out of their their fin. I think it's less that a chunk is taken out of it and more that they just made a more stylized fin. Uh. Granted, I don't think I know of any sharks that have a hole there. Yeah. Oh, I actually used a dive ball. Time, <laughs> but at the same time, I also, uh, 
I also don't know of any I... sharks that. What? I. What? Dive falls aren't really supposed to work on fish Pokemon. What the fuck? At the same time, I uh, I don't know of any great hammerhead sharks that have had their anal fins evolve to be hind legs and have evolved lungs to breathe on land, so... Right. Anyway, uh, Flareon, flame Pokemon. It fluffs out its fur color to cool down its body temperature, which can reach 1,650 degrees Fahrenheit. It's a hot boy. God damn it. What? A ghastly attacks me before I can heal. Ow. Yeah, I'm glad I bought a bunch of full restores and barely ever used them in the Pokemon League. Yeah. Wait, is this the evolution? Yes, it is. Okay, I need to catch you. Yeah, its name is Go Go. I wonder what animal it is. It's obviously a fish. And you see, the best part is, is that's not a, that's not even entirely wrong. Who joins? Dragon. Hello, Dragon. Hey, Dragon. I said edge human, and it didn't pick up because I was muted. Uh -huh. Hey, hey, Dragon. True or false? I am a fish. True. Good job. Congratulations, you are now a fish, bright as a bird, and you are a fish. Wait, God damn it! Okay, I am a penguin. You are a fish, and bright as a bird. Oh no, 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 no. Really that that means that you're both fish too. What? Yeah. <laughs> no. You're both fish? No, no, I, I checked. I'm still very much a penguin. Despite my name being Cheese Slapped Crocodile. Did you did you check taxonomy? Yes. Okay, so again, let me ask you. Uh are birds dinosaurs? Yeah? Yes, they are. And why is it the case that birds are dinosaurs? Hey, <laughs> Dragon goes quiet. I said I don't know. Oh, it, they're called dinosaurs because within evolution, if a title is given to an organism, the things that evolve from that organism or that type of organism will continue to hold that title. So for instance, uh, we still hold the title of mammals as well as monkeys, as well as apes. That's why birds are dinosaurs. And since all tetrapods evolved from fish, once you go back far enough, we are all fish. Okay, I, I never got to share my fun fact. Okay, so you know, okay. So for the end like of the game, you have to go into a cave, right? But it's like a it's like a hole. It's the crater in the middle of the region. Yeah. And when I was going through the thing, Bright already knows this. Bright already knows this, but when I was going through the thing, uh I caught a shiny. My third shiny of the game, unexpectedly. And Bright has caught zero, and I feel bad. Lol. Right, right. Anyway. You gotta get more lucky, please. Shush. Get one of the shiny boys. Anyway, this is the Go Goat Pokemon. Uh, the Go Goat, the Mount Pokemon. These Pokemon lives in herds and mountains, mountainous places. 
The victor in their contest of clashing horns will become the leader of the herd. Oh yeah, dragon. Uh, there's a theory going around that this game takes... Because in X and Y, there were two timelines. One where Mega Evolution exists, and one where it doesn't. Mm -hmm. They think because we have terrestrializing, that this yeah. is the this is the timeline... Shut up. This is the timeline where Mega Evolution doesn't exist. It would make sense. Because you would think they would, uh, like in the classes, they would say something about Mega Evolution, seeing as it's common in the country right above uh, Helde... Helde... How many times am I going to have to remind you, Bright? Mm -hmm. How many times am I going to have to remind you that it's called Terra Stabilize? There's no B in there. Oh, there it is. I could have sworn there was. No. Because, like, the pro professor... When I went to find him, he said terrestrializing. Like there was no B, there was no present B in the in the word. So, so it's oh, well, I guess I'm wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, also, uh, Arvin, the guy that, uh, yeah, the guy with the squirrel hair. Uh, yeah, he saw his dad and mom die. He saw his mom die in my game, but dad die in bright. He is an orphan. Rip. Rip boat though. Better luck next timeline. Well, technically, uh, in Bright's game, the dad went to the future, or the AI of the dad went to the future. Uh, mm. Saul's book. I'm I'm sorry to tell you this, but I'm pretty sure. Flirting with the shark isn't going to help you live. Well, the shark is gay, and the Sawsbuck knows that the shark is gay. So it's trying to hope that that will spare him, but he, I don't know. He's he failing. Died. Again! Me... Oh my god! That kind of makes me wonder. Do... Do fish experience... Uh, bisexual behaviors? Probably. Probably. Well, that's the thing. Like, with fish, it's a lot different environment surrounding these things. Like, most fish don't have, like, genitals. Like, the only exception being, like, elasmobranchs. All fish are non-binary. Well, it's it's arguable that all fish would be agender, and even then, that doesn't work because a being agender exists within the paradigm of having gender, while sharks don't have genders. Genderless. Also, I I love this Pokédex entry right now. It's called Sawsbuck, the season Pokémon, winter form. Though there are many enthusiasts for Sawsbuck as a species. This seasonal form, in particular, is not very popular. Aww. Wait, what well, you must give him a happened? good home. Somewhere in Japan, probably. Go trade him out. <laughs> Wait, what happens in, if you get, uh, like, a spring, or... Can you get a summer? No, you can get a summer one, because you can get summer dealing. Now Damn he it, must why forcefully no... capture a child in a ball. I'm sorry, what did you just say? Now he must forcefully capture a child in a ball. Oh, it's not the worst thing you've done. Yay, I love killing orphans. I have to make that a sound alert. Yay, I love uh -huh. killing orphans. Well, you're not killing orphans, you're kidnapping them. 
You're an awful person. <laughs> I feel like we've all known that Bright is not really the best person. I take offense. Well, you want to and be stop being such an about. awful fucking person. No. <laughs> anyway. Deerling, the season Pokemon. Winter form. This Pokemon will play playfully headbutt those it gets along well with. It has antlers hidden under under its flower, so the headbutts are a little painful. Oh, sweet little baby. I look up Mexican horn shark on Pinterest, and the first thing I see is a like a cow with outrageously large horns. <laughs> I don't think this is the best site to be looking for scientifically accurate information. Who would have guessed? The 30 most overrated bands of all time. Okay. The fuck is Buzznet? I'm just looking for fish, man. You're not allowed to have fish. If you can name ten of these seventies bands, all the oh god, that that's so irritating. They didn't actually say bands; they said band. If you can name these seventies band, you might be a music history genius. Oh shit! I found a shiny. Get it, oh. quick fall, or something. Get it, please. It's Bright's worst shiny. Oh my god! Finally. I wasn't even trying. Right, got her first shiny. Right when you're low on false swipes, too. Yeah. It's fine, it's fine. Oh my god. The That's battlefield it. got weird. Okay. And he was calm mind. She is adorable. Oh my god. I think I can only get the male version in my game, sadly. I got both the male and female. Oh, then maybe I just haven't found the location for the female ones. Uh, I might want to use a better ball. I don't adorable. really have any. Don't you have, like, the, uh, the nest balls? Yeah, use the nest ball. Well, no, because it's no. higher level than right. I don't have any nest balls. Oh, god damn it. Oh, that's a crit capture. Yep. Hell that's, yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Finally. Bright got a shiny. I wonder if it would be a different Bright. Pokedex entry because it's the female version. Oh, yeah, it is. Indeedy, emotional Pokemon. Female. In search of happy feelings such as joy and gratitude, Indeedy bustles around. T Taking diligent care of people and other Pokemon. Do you tell that it's a shiny, just like it's different colored? Yeah, different colored. That's what shiny are. Shinies are. They're different color. I'm still upset that they haven't like they they didn't add the shiny. Oh, yeah. See, that's a that's a regular one. It's like yeah, it's not blue color as you can see. It's purple. I wasn't even trying to look for I just saw, does that look shiny? It looks weird. And then I go towards it and it's shiny. They need to re-add the shiny animation for the overworld. Imagine how many shinies you've probably missed. I know I didn't get the, the adult right here. Now I got Keep the little going. guy. Little guy. Oh shit, that's right. I have no moves that won't instantly kill him. I want to try this. Oh. Wait, that means I can go back to area here if I want to. Can I throw a Pokeball at him? No. No. God damn it. Oh fuck, I can refight. Can I refight everything? No. No? Just the gems? I see a Pokemon in the distance that I, I need to get next. That's rare. Yeah, I can refight. 
fight all the oh players. sweet there you go don't think also, why the f why the fuck is it so hard to find a good image of a Mexican horn shark? I have no idea. Houndstone, the ghost dog Pokemon. A lovely mm. Morn Pokemon was reborn as Houndstone. It doesn't like anyone touching the protuberance atop of its head. It's six foot seven, so th this dog is bigger than you, Hatchet. Fucking Christ. Well, that's not like in height, that's just like in general. Look at this little boy. By the way, this is a- even though this is a dinosaur, it's also a dragon. Hmm. That's one pathetic ass little dinosaur. Also, how do you get- because there are, like, in the game, you can get other starters, or at least they, they show up. Oh my god, wait, you can see me. Yeah. Oh my god, I have I wasn't able to actually get a good look at him. They're fucking adorable. They're real babies. Ax you. He's a real baby. God damn it. Catch the bitch. Outrage. Do not insult. Oh my god. He beat the living wow. shit of a giant shark. Little angry by a bee. You Let's see if he can defeat a, a crocodile. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Grand Inferno. Wait, Please. Oh wait, no, that's just a regular line. Please, Inferno, don't. Please. That's not a lava car, it's a Volcanian. Ocarina. Alright. Axie, the tusk Pokemon. If you see peculiar teeth marks on boulders or trees, it means an Axie is likely living nearby. What do you think about Axie, Hatchet? I mean, he's pretty cute. He's one of the handful of Pokemon that I think are cute and I don't want to harm. Cause I don't, like, I still don't understand why I have this immense urge to harm cute Pokemon. Wait, okay, I see it's evolution distance. I'm gonna go after that after I heal Garchomp after he got his ass kicked by a tiny little dragon. Dinosaur Small thing. dinosaur, small dinosaur kills giant shark. Beta, sh beta Hammerhead tries to face small raptor creature. Yeah, that's the evolution right there. <laughs> He's got a big long mustache. It's actually his tusk. I mean, I know, but still, it looks like a mustache. I actually. Have Why to... is it? Oh. Why is a dragon type so tiny? I can show you its evolution. I have it in the Pokédex. Oh dear God. Oh, God. At least it's at one health now. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye, Beta Shark. Oh, no. That is bad. What, what happened? When in confusion, they can sometimes hit themselves. Oh, shit. Get caught, please. This is for your own good, little friend. Oh. Okay. He, he was too confused to fight back. Guess that works. Oh, Hatchet, you're gonna love the name for this Pokemon. Uh, Fracture. The Axe Jaw Pokemon. <laughs> 
Fracture uses his thick, thick tusks to nearly cut prey into two portions. One to eat now and one to save for later. Bro, that's kind of fucked up. <laughs> Kids game. <laughs> he's a good boy. What do you mean he's Kids. fucked up? Kids game. Hey, let's describe the exact manner in which this creature kills other creatures. Okay, look. He's a little bit fucked up, but he's adorable. God damn it, Doug Trio. I mean, I'm not blaming him. I'm blaming the game's designers for a adding, like, like imagine if like, like, you're playing a kids game, and the first thing you hear about a lion is, uh, the males sit around all day while the females are made to go hunt all day, <laughs> all the food. Huh? Be that bad. I'm trying to see where Haxorus is. It's not actually that bad. Then yeah. let me um Yeah, here's his final evolution, Hatchet. Oh. Yeah, like imagine if um if like a kid's game was like the primary mode through which lions kill their prey is by chomping down on their jugulars and ripping their throats out. <laughs> I mean, there is a Pokemon on my team right now that uh, is rumored. Oh fuck! Why are you there? Uh, that is rumored to. Oh know, God! We have now we hammer, throw it, uh, make a hammer uh, to hunt down a uh, pretty much a bird made out of steel. Hunt it down to make a hammer. Also, I found where the uh, you get an extra one of your legendary at. I'm oh, not yeah. gonna fight. I don't want. He tried to fight my main boy, and I don't want my main boy to be upset, so he can go fuck himself. Jesus. Well, I do need to catch him so I can trade him with Bright's extra, uh, extra legendary, so we can bail out our Pokedex all the way. But for right Horn now, he can go fucking shove it. Horn sharks are so fucking funny. Oh look, it's so this bitch again. Looking. Be funny. Remember this uh, bird dragon hatchet? Yes, I remember. I don't. I, I may listen, Bright. I may. I may be kind of out of it because of headache, but I can remember back to like 15 minutes ago. Oh, I only have one false life left. Good job. And of course, they immediately start. Parasol. They immediately use that. <laughs> wow. Uh, I got quick ball. Damn it! Hurt well, that them failed. more. You must hurt them more. I can't. Use an attack that's weak against them. Fuck. Like you've used this strategy of trying to capture them when they're still that high of health before and it hasn't turned out well. Oh, well, fuck. they oh, only got one turn left, so it's no point. Well, yeah, that's why I said you should weaken them with your second turn. The, the and they're dead. Why, Bright, why are you allergic to practicality? Shut up. I'm not looking for the crested horn shark, I'm just looking for the horn shark. I wonder if Lemon hates me. He has a lot of reasons to. <laughs> However, I love horns. Oh, oh, go ahead. I came over here and searched for a Pokemon I need. 
I have yet to find a damn Pokemon. <laughs> Man. I like I like like horn shark species because they have like they they make me think of uh like what you would get if you crossed a Dilophosaurus with a shark. They got the really defined uh eye ridges. Oh, it's a little sea dragon. Yeah, that is a dragon. Oh. Why did you try to catch it when it's literally full health? And that's what the quick ball does. It has a high oh. chance for catch rate at the beginning of battle. Oh, okay. We're trying liquidation because I forgot to heal, uh, heal my moves. Because I'm a big dum dum. We know. Damn it. Oh wait, I can use the dive ball. They're in the water. Yep. Yeah. Let's see what it says about Chitini. Cute little noodle boy. Chitini, the dragon Pokemon. It is born large to start with. It repeatedly sheds its skin as it steadily grows longer. And apparently it's 5 feet 11 inches long. That is not a little little boy anymore then, I guess. Nope. Alright, so. Let's oh, go to right, you want to know something upsetting? No. No? Do you want to know something upsetting, Hatchet? I don't know. It's Pokemon upsetting. It's not, like, real-world upsetting. Okay, then I guess. So, uh, at the end of the game, you have to go into the crater, and there are four uh, resting points you have to go to to unlock the uh, Lab Zero, right? And so, in the, la the fourth one, where the uh, professor dies, or is said to die, of uh, you find two books. The first book that you read to your left uh, describes just, like, his parental regret of never being there for his kid, or her kid, depending on the professor. And the second one, uh, it describes the creation of the AI. Yeah. yeah also, bookworm... I didn't even notice your message, so you said, so we're getting high and meditating? What was that too? Oh, uh, thank you, Red Joker. Okay, got Gold Duck. Poor Jacksons are so cute. The only thing I have a problem with this Pokemon is it's literally called Gold Duck, but it's not even yellow colored. Yeah. I have some concerns. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, Gold Duck, the duck Pokemon. It swims gracefully among the quiet, slow moving rivers and lakes of which it is so found. to teach a Pokemon false light. What Pokemon could I level up really quickly? None. Huh? Right, send the child lemon. No. no, fuck that. I'm not sending anyone lemon. Oh, what the fuck? You, I don't have you. Oh, yeah, that's the, the uh, middle evolution for the final form I have. Yeah, that thing... That thing's entire evolution line canonically hunts down uh, fucking... What Hunts down. See? Oh, oh yeah, there it is. I don't know why it escaped my mind, but. Didn't even uh, have to hurt it. Canonically hunts down Corviknight. 
And that's why Corviknight aren't used in this region, because they hunt them down. <laughs> Tinkatuff, the hammer Pokemon. These Pokemon made their homes in piles of scrap metal. They test the strength of each other's hammers by smashing them together. That sounds wrong in a different context. Gadget. Hey. I mean, am I wrong? Yes. Yes, very. <gasps> Look, it's the chonk. They smash their hammers together. Yes, you're very wrong. Hatchet, I, I know something will make you have serotonin right now. It's a wild chonk. Yeah, the chonk. He's just sitting there. He doesn't want to move. Yeah. Oh, so cute. I love the chonk. And like I told Dragon, if there's a plushie of the chonk, I'm going to buy it. Yeah. What if it's a life-size plushie? Then I'll they definitely be happy life. with it. They've made life-size uh, Quagsire plushies before, so it is very plausible. Yeah, like that. That at that point, it's basically a beanbag. That would actually be a sick beanbag chair. Yeah. Yeah, but you would also be sitting on a Pokemon, and I don't know how to feel about that. That feels kind of mean. I mean, I'm sure Lechonk wouldn't mind. Like, have you seen Lechonk? There's not a thought going through that thing's brain. Or not Lech, not the Lechonk. Chonk. The Chonk. God damn it. Yeah, like there's not a single thought going through that thing's head. They're just they're just down for whatever. They're vibing. But you see, that's the issue, right? As much as you want to give my brain serotonin, there's nothing that can give my brain serotonin quite like looking at cute sharks. Too bad all the sharks in this game are fucking ugly. Wow. Okay, they're not ugly. I'm sorry. I, I find fucking, Gibble to be cute. Fair fucking... Point. Fucking body shaming shark Pokemon. I'm sorry. <laughs> just not as cute as real sharks, okay? Wow. I mean, there's some real sharks that aren't cute. Fair point. The goblin shark is very cute. No, it's not. Go, go to hell. <laughs> also, I forgot. Okay, so I have the shiny giraffe rig, and I forgot uh, what. Level I'm supposed to, not a level, but like what move I'm supposed to teach it for it to evolve. I think it's check for my. Teach it dig. It's not dig that has to. It has to learn. Uh, is it guard? I'm not trying to give you advice to level to evolve it. I'm just telling you to teach it dig. Oh look, I can get a third chance. Third chance. <laughs> Third time's the charm. Uh, do you have quick balls? Yes, I do. Like, this is the start of battle. Might be good. Nope, it's shit. Nope, immediately. And it's perished. Oh, come on. I think the dragon birds are kind of they uh, self homicidal. Honestly, at this point, you probably would be better off just trying to evolve a little one. I want to try hitting it one more time. It tried hmm. using Parasong again. <laughs> What's the point? What would that do? Reset the counter? And see if you... Do you have an Ultra Ball? So cool. Wait, I love this shiny. That did literally nothing to the shark. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, and I don't think so. Are there any balls specifically for flying types? No. Fuck. Oh, that's a really good shiny. Holy shit. And it's dead. Well. Yeah, you might be better off just trying to evolve the little one. Hey. 
Because these guys are fucking, fucking auto homicide bombers at this rate. Those wings aren't actually wings, they're fertilizer bombs. <laughs> Wait, is that another one? They're secretly tactical no. wings. Oh, okay, that's the little one. It's a little baby. Right does not like little babies. I murdered him. We can tell. I guess their thanks for your taste, Their flesh tastes great. What? I guess... I guess thanks for your admission of guilt. You're welcome. <laughs> but Jackson sharks are so fucking cute. Hey, Hatchet, I'm getting my own uh, auto homicidal bird. Put this on Twitter, because I think this, this is so fucking cute. You already evolved it? Yeah, I just had to level it up once with the candies. Uh, oh, Alter okay. Altaria, the humming Pokemon, also known as a dragon. That was, that was way, way easier than trying to fight these damn things. Yeah. On sunny days, it flies freely through the skies and blends into the clouds. It sings in a beautiful soprano. Soprano. Soprano, whatever. Same thing. No, they're really not. Not. You don't know that. Shut the fuck up. Mispronounced soprano is just a worse soprano. Or is it? Shut your face. Shut your face and stop talking. Alright, so I'm not finding the Pokemon I need to find in this area, so I'm gonna have to go to another area. Alright, so where else can you find the Pokemon I need? So I'm trying to go in order what I need to get. Jump block. Alright, let's I'm see. North Promphonus Area 2. Okay, we can check there. North Promphonus Area 2, which would be right over here. Fly there. Oh, Jesus Christ. What? Port Jackson sharks are cute, but you don't want to look at their mouth. I'm gonna guess it's a penguin situation? No. It, no. I, it's kinda, it's like, it's kind of like, it's kind of a penguin situation, but like, they've got weird fucking, like, circular teeth like on their on the front of their lips and like looking at it from the wrong angle just looks absolutely horrendous here let me just send you one okay There you go. That's that's the bottom view of a Port Jackson. Okay, so I want to get up to fifty thousand of the nest balls, which is fifty fifty nest balls. So bright. I sent the picture of the uh, underside view of a Port Jackson to you as well. Yeah. Okay. I was check in a moment. Yeah, that would be. I got fifty Ultra Balls. It's another. Ooh, yes, these. The more turns they are in battle, the more effective this ball is. Hmm. So let's go ahead and get 50 of you. Yeah, Dragon, did you see in your DMs?
There's, their scientific <laughs> name is... Their scientific name is Heterodontus Portus Jacksony. <laughs> Then, yeah, did you see? Yep, that, yeah, it's a fucking yeah. horrifying thing. Yeah, it just gets worse the longer you stare at it. Yeah, I, I was dead at it for five minutes, and yeah, it's a terrifying thing. Yeah, five minutes? In seconds? Second. Fuck you. Why'd you say hard. fuck you? I was just, I was just clarifying, jeez. Sorry, but also fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck, Fuck you. you. Fuck I can you. definitely tell you guys are the best of friends. Fuck you, goat man. Fuck you. Fuck you, goat woman. Fuck you. Goat woman? Oh, you're talking to Bright Bright? Yeah. A I jigglypuff. Mean, go either or. Goat man, I don't know. Goat woman could go... I don't fucking know. I don't know what you are, Hatchet, but I know you exist, and that's cool. I mean, I don't know what I am either. <laughs> That's kind of why I'm agender. Oh, I just don't fucking know. I caught the Jigglypuff. Oh, congrats! Why is not having Lady Gaga Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff, the balloon Pokemon. If it inflates the thing a little by, it can perform longer and cause short, uh, short drowsiness in its audience. Jigglypuff, also known as. Uh, balls. Uh, I was gonna... oh, I've already God, caught I had a puff. joke. Right, it's jiggly, puff. right, Jig jiggly, jiggly puff, also known as Neko Kirby. Pretty much. Yeah. Like literally the exact same design, just with some cat features. Oh, I caught Wigglytuff. Evolution. Huh. Based. You wanna know a fun fact? No. Hmm? Shut the fuck up. You wanna know a fun fact? No. Why does this be no warning star? Okay. Fun fact. Um. Fun. Okay. So in Smash, when Kirby uh, consumes Jigglypuff, uh, the only thing that changes about Kirby is he gets cat ears and a bit. I think I like a bit more fluffy. Yeah. Kirby uh, is fleshy. Uh, also. Uh, Wigglytuff, the balloon Pokemon. The rich, fluffy fur that covers its body feels so good that anyone who feels it can't stop touching it. That's moderately terrifying. Oh shit, I don't have to catch another rolls. My evolution's right here. A Glade. The fuck is this? Instead of getting Gardevoir, you can get this Pokemon. Oh. They use Protect, so it's, but so it it's failed. So Femboy. So it's Femboy Gardevoir. Yeah. No, just ugly turn up. But yeah, Bright. When you're done with that fight, you should check your DM. Okay. For the bottom view of the Port Jackson shark. You maybe it'll give you ins maybe it'll give you inspiration for some kind of SCP creature. Who knows? Aww. Come on. Heal pulse. They just healed me. Oh, why? <laughs> also, I put in dumb post what the shiny looks like. I think it looks pretty cool. Oh, I got him. Sweet. I don't have to worry about evolving waltz. Gallade, the blade Pokemon. Because it can sense what its foe is thinking, it attacks, bursts out f uh, first, fast, and fierce. Which is why it healed you. <laughs> yeah. Fast and furious, some would say. 
Yeah, go ahead and check your DMs. Oh, god damn it. I'm not fighting you. Oh, god, no, not you. Oh, god damn it. It's the cultural appropriation oh. bird. Okay. It's not the worst I've seen, but okay. Yeah, I know. It ain't, it ain't the worst, but it's just like... Yeah. Like like I said to Penguin, it, it gets worse the longer you look at it. Also, why the fuck does the shiny giraffe look like that? It's like it got... What? He turned blue for the first one. And then the second one, he's more, uh, like... Bright and vibrant. Oh god, why does this Pokemon keep following me? They they just really want to get you cancelled. No, you know what it is? They really want to be on screen when Jiri gets in. Because they don't like Jiri because they're racist. Is it even supposed to be Mexican? I thought it was introduced in... It uh, is. Uh, it's meant it? to be a Mexican wrestler, yeah. Uh, yeah, the, uh... Oh, uh... Oh, yeah, wait, oh, yeah, I Matadors, or... I don't remember the exact name, but, yeah. The, thus, we call it the cultural appropriation bird. I'm pretty sure it wasn't used when X and Y came out, wasn't it used in competitive? Yeah. Mm hmm. Well, we, uh, yeah, I know you don't know. You don't play Pokemon. Uh -huh. Of course, this thing knows oh, a very fuck. tight move. Oh, fuck. That sheep is throwing hands. Cotton oh, guard. God. Okay, the, um, the, uh, the Port Jackson just gets worse. Oh. Its mouth just gets worse. This is a front view of it opening its mouth. Why do I have a feeling I don't want to know what this fucking thing looks like? It's, uh... Sending it to you as well, bro. God damn it. Okay. It's just, uh... Oh, come on! There. It's in. It's in your DMs, right? I'll get it in a moment. Do not e. look at it. <laughs> Don't. I've seen worse, Dragon. Are you sure? Yes. I've seen people do things with decapitated heads that I can't mention here. Okay, so looking at that thing. I mean, I've seen that as well, but it's a very different sort of blah. Yep. Yeah, I'm talking about real life. Yeah, I know. I'm... Like, in person? No, like, in, online. No, videos. Yeah. yeah, like, I've seen that stuff too, but... I'm, like, this is a very different... Bleh. <laughs> the boy says, okay, question. Why is it half the time I, it feels like I come back slash join at the most suspicious moments? What's suspicious moments? What, what are we talking about? Probably is probably when they came back that I they immediately heard me so, something. Oh uh, god! The, 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 oh <laughs> fuck! Oh god! Damn it! Oh fucking <laughs> hell! Anyway, Amphros, the light Pokemon. When it gets dark, the light from its bright shiny tail can be seen from far away on the ocean surface. Uh. If you're asking for context for why Bright brought that up. It's because I was sharing with Bright and Dragon pictures of a Port Jackson shark's mouth, and it is awful. And Bright was just going like, I've seen worse. I don't know the context for Bright having seen that. It's Reddit probably 50, just 50. like one of those. I, I'm guessing it's like, like with me, it was like one of those weird curiosity things. Oh no, it was 100% Reddit 50-50. Oh, Reddit 5050? I've never heard of that. Yeah, and it's good old days. Now it's heavily moderated. Oh, uh, no. Why are you doing then that? again, you've also seen a person get decapitated in real life. You've been to throw... 
You've been through so much shit. Mm -hmm. Like, what the fuck is your life? You're just a little bit older than me, and you've had all of this crazy shit happen to you. Okay, so I need... Yeah, so, what about it? Like, my only conclusion is that my, my instincts are correct. It It's because you're a Virginian. No. Virginia is fucked. That is my conclusion. Oh wait, first thing to use... Quick Ball. I need to remember to get use this first. Oh, you found the Cotton Boys? Uh, I've already caught this. It's just that I don't have the evolution, and I thought I still had it, but I think I traded it. For random shit. Uh... Marie, the wool Pokemon. Its fleece grows continually in the summer. The fleece is fully shed, but it grows back in a week. It's an electric sheep? Yeah. Electric sheep? Mm-hmm. There's a normal type sheep. Called Wooloo. And guess what it evolves into? Guess what the evolution is called? I don't- I don't know. Double Woo. Like, double Woo. Uh... Here he goes. Whoa, what hap- what's- whoa, what- I- I- aw. Uh, um... Uh, uh, it just immediately evolves? I leveled it up once, yeah. But, uh, why am I being surrounded by drug effects? You are high. The sheep drugs you. Oh, what the fu- Okay, you really are drugged. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> it's Flaffy. I Fla don't- Flaffy. I want it to die. Flaffy, the wool Pokemon. Because of its rubbery, electricity-resistant skin, it can store lots of electricity in its fur. How does that skin gonna do you against a fucking baseball bat, bitch? Jesus I want this Christ. thing dead. No! I don't like it. I want it dead. I'm sure that thing wants you dead, too. I- <laughs> The boy. Yeah, well, I have opposable thumbs. <laughs> the boy- Idea. I <laughs> yeah. The air shrapnel! <laughs> you know, like, my first instinct is shotgun, but that's less satisfying than just beating the ever-loving fuck out of it with a baseball bat. I'm sure that that could be said about you, too. I'm still not finding the damn Pokemon I'm looking for. A handgun with grape shot? <laughs> <laughs> Break your wrist, but it's worth it. <laughs> Look who it is, Ashit. Oh no, not oh. you. <laughs> this is a cute little boy. I highly. Find... Oh, sorry. I wonder, can you put a frag grenade in a cannon? I mean, if it's an air cannon, then that's feasible. It like if you if you like make it like uh like an odd sort of grenade launcher, but like a standard cannon, that's probably not going to go well. Think fast, chuckle nuts, bomb. That's the, that's the only thing I think of when I hear about bombs. Mm. Or that one meme uh, with the, the dude from the... <laughs> I have an idea if I ever do science fair again. Please don't. <laughs> no. We don't, we don't need acts of domestic terrorism in he, up in here. Well, uh, I feel like it's you. I like my pers- I personally enjoy my uh, every now and then acts of domestic terrorism. Go swim in a... Go swim in a gator lake and eat, be eaten by sharks. Fuck you. I West Providence you Area 3. Alright, let's try West Providence Area 3. 
in hopes of finding the damn motherfucking Pokemon I'm trying to find. West Province Area 1, Area 2, Area 3. <laughs> Why do I find this article's title so funny? What about undomesticated terrorists? No, that's that's not no, just cease. No, that that that's Shut up. <laughs> you will shut your face. Sorry, I can't do that. My face is not a car. Okay. Um there's I've got a I've got an article here. It's its name is and the shark, comma. He has teeth. Dot dot dot. That's it. <laughs> he is taking down the internet. Hey Hatchet, I got the Pokemon you wanted me to catch. Oh, what was it? The banana dinosaur. Oh yeah. Tropius. 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 Tropius, the fruit Pokemon. Tri Delicious. Tripalicalicaloctus. Tri <laughs> Delicious fruit grows out of its. from around its neck because it al always ate the same kind of fruit. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure bananas aren't a fruit. Also. Also, there. There's a theory that's been axed, and yes, it's. They axed. said. They said this can happen. Uh, if Tropius eats human flesh, yes, human flesh can grow from our neck if they eat enough of it. They answered that? Yes! Why? <laughs> Someone hexed it! Okay. Like, are they dem- I mean, who- Okay, whoever asked that. It's fair, technically, but also they're fucking demented! Jesus! <laughs> so that means- Okay, it feeding. is a fruit. If it's human flesh grown by a plant Pokemon, is that cannibalism? Yeah, it would still be considered cannibalism. It's still fundamentally the same thing. Also, okay, that actually raises the question. Okay, so if a Pokemon eats... Like, if, okay, so if that Pokemon eats... Uh, eats... Like, another Pokemon, like a Meowth or something. Um, oh God. Would it start growing out Maybe. Maybe it would grow out human flesh. That would be actually a good way to get a lot of money, if you think about it. Not or even better. Food. Or even better, connect our conversation yesterday about future vegan ideas and have them do all the work. Literally just get a whole bunch of these guys that eat a bunch of different types of meat that we want to have yeah. have them eat those meats and then boom no more need for factory farms yeah. it's like a really fucked up version yeah meowth the scratch cat pokemon it loves things that sparkle when it sees a shiny object the gold coin on it on its head shines too oh god i hate meowth so much why do you hate meowth look at its face it looks it's like adorable. it's dead inside you are in dead. You are dead inside. Yeah, that's why I can recognize it easier. Fuck you. Oh. Do you want to talk about it? No. Oh, look, it's a no. Pokeball. Wait, what? Wait a minute, what the... Wait, what? That's a live Pokeball, yeah. It explodes. Okay. Lemon. Use charge beam. Doesn't affect lemon. <gasps> lemon. I should probably get my own, uh... Your own lemon. lemon? Oh, my own lemon, yeah. Do you have your own the chonk? Yes, actually. That's good. Voltorb was caught. Everyone, everyone needs a chonk in their life. Yes, I agree. <laughs> I am the chonk in my life. If it drinks milk, does it start oozing down its throat? Oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Jesus, why would you say something like that? Oh, God. Ugh. Oh, this is a good... That is one of the most... 
Oh, sorry. That is one of the most cursed images I have ever had put into my brain. <laughs> this is this is also a good entry. Voltorb, the ball Pokemon. It's usually found in power plants. Easily mistaken for a Pokeball, it has zapped many people. The ball Pokemon. Yeah. Do you know uh, the theory of its origin? Uh, no, of course I don't. It's basically a, one ghost type Pokemon just could not leave its Pokeball and transformed into this. <laughs> if it drinks Kool-Aid, that would be fucking hilarious. It just looks like it's dying. It looks like it's actually, actually, if I remember correctly, I think it's uh, I think it's fucking flamingos or maybe not. No, deer. God damn it, it's not flamingo. It's deer. Deer. Sometimes there are certain types of deer when they're about to their when their horns are about to fall off. Uh, their heads will produce a red liquid that is not blood. A lot of people think it is blood, but it is not blood. It's just a red liquid. And... Yeah. I feel like it would be a situation like that. Interesting. Also, they're not horns. They're antlers. Antlers, yeah, whatever. Yeah, the distinction between the two are horns are permanent, antlers shed. I'm glad I don't live near the woods, says the boy. Wait, I just realized, if it is a ghost-type Pokemon that's trapped inside of a Pokeball, how fucked up is it to put it in another Pokeball? Uh, I'd say it's that uh, fucked up. It probably doesn't care. I don't know. Like, it's pissed oh. off anyways, oh. it doesn't, you know? Wait, what do you mean, the... The Voltor. Pokemon... Yeah, Old it's orb. it's theorized that a go a, some ghost type Pokemon couldn't break out of his Pokeball and transformed into that. Maybe we're all just in God's Pokeball. Yeah. New religion just dropped. <laughs> this is dumb. Pachirisu, <laughs> the Ellie Squirrel Pokemon. A pair may be seen rubbing their cheek pouches together in an effort to share stored electricity. And yes, it's called the Aww. Ellie Squirrel Pokemon, not Squirrel Pokemon. It's a, it's a Pika clone. Yeah. Oh, that's cute, but I also want to get the golf club. <laughs> Do not get the golf club. I will eat the golf club. I'll, I'll get the rocket launcher. No, I will eat the No, that's not as satisfying. Okay, then I'll just, I'll just punch it. What the fuck? I'll kick it, I'll step on it, I'll spit in its eye. Oh, the sloth Pokemon. What's wrong with you? I don't know. I honestly don't. Like, I I guess you haven't been around for us talking about this. Okay, what's worse? My new religion thing or the flying spaghetti thing? Mm-hmm. Uh, the, flying sp the flying spaghetti monster is pretty based, in my opinion. Nah, I dare say it's like, it's been so overused. That's just a pain in the ass. What about Cthulhu? At this point. That's like, that's not a, that's not a meme. That's, yeah, that's like an actual thing. Are you saying you wouldn't want to worship Cthulhu? Yes, I would not like to worship that motherfucker. Well, no, it's not an actual religion. Oh, no, it is. There, I've seen people actually worship him. Oh, well. Oh. We'll ignore those dinguses. I guess, like, that's the thing. Any spiritual practice is potentially valid. I just also think it's kind of odd for your spiritual practice to literally be based upon uh, the writings of a horror author who was making fiction and was extremely racist when he was writing his books. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. And also phobic of literally everything. Yeah. yeah. Also, uh, this Pokemon Vigoroth. evolved evolved from a sloth, Vigoroth, the wild monkey Pokemon. It is always hungry because it won't stop rampaging. Even while it is eating, it can't keep still. By the way, this Pokemon evolves into Slacking. I already have Slacking evolution. I, I know, I was telling Hatchet. Yeah. And it, it gets really fat when it evolves. There we go.
fuck is lava bloom? You'll never the know. Shut fuck up. The user touches everything around it in a inferno of uh, scarlet flames. You can also leave those it hits with a burn. No. Eat shit. No. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Um. Before the religion thing. Right. You haven't been around for when, like, I'm being introduced to Pokemon. Oh, it's a Persian. Yeah, Persian. Um, oh, sorry. Uh, I don't know what it is, but there's, like, this weird switch in my brain that, like, perceives certain cute things within Pokemon designs as something that is a visceral threat to my existence, and I want it dead. Yeah. All right. I really don't understand why. Persian, a race in real life Pokemon. <laughs> also, our actual type of cat. Yeah, the, again, this this one just feels lazy. Yeah. Like they make a cat, and they just name it after a breed of cat. Yeah. Persian, the classy cat Pokemon. It has. A vicious temperament. Beware if it raises its tail straight up. This is a signal that it is about to pounce and bite. Is that true, Hatchet? Uh, For cats? Uh, no. Cats? Yeah, cats gonna kill you. They're just gonna fucking kill you. Yeah, like, cats are not... Cat, cats gener... Like, cats' entire hunting strategy in the wild and fighting is based upon stealth. I caught a really tiny sh mushroom. Damn. Dance, mushroom dance, whatever could it mean? It means you lived a life of sin. What the fuck are you talking about? It's, a, it's an Undertale reference. Everyone? No. I'd like to... I'd like to announce that Festus is a boy. How do yeah. we know that Festus isn't trans? Did you ask what? Festus? Festus, are you trans? Meow. <laughs> that sound nothing like my Festus. <laughs> How dare you try to copy, like, mimic my Festus and do it so sloppily. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Shroomish. The mushroom Pokemon. If it senses danger, it scatters spores from the top of its head to protect itself. Mm. Uh, this. Honey, grab me the shotgun. I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry. No. No, no I don't need the shotgun. Just get out the bat. Oh my god. I'm gonna make its stupid little face even flatter. Oh, I don't have this. I'll take it. It's a Murkrow. Okay, so it's a type of crow, therefore I love it. The boy, hydrate. Uh, Hatchet, entertain a stream while I get a drink. Okay. Um, hydrate and dihydrate. Dehydrate your lungs. Yeah, I love hydrating my lungs. No, dehydrate. Oh yeah, my lungs are incredibly hydrated, so I think that would be an issue, you know? Yeah, you need to you need to like dry out your lungs. It's 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 very healthy. I, I do it every day and I, I think I'm doing alright. Uh <laughs> put them in the microwave for a bit. I love that's putting not, orphans in the microwave. That's that wait, what the fuck? God damn it, headset. <laughs> Anyway. Someday, bright, someday, bright will wake up and they will be in an oven. What the fuck? Wait a Brighter. minute. Oh fuck. Wait a minute. Okay. I just realized that that could be taken a very wrong direction. Yeah, you think? You think? <laughs> I'm I was not thinking mad. just. I'm not mad at that. I find that funny. <laughs> I was that. thinking just like a standard house oven. Like you got <laughs> folded and put into a cake pan. I wasn't I wasn't thinking that. Oh no. Let's put Bright in a microwave. Well, let's just I'm gonna I'm gonna try to 
I'm gonna try to erase this memory from my brain. I uh, never. I'm going. Goodbye. My my brain's shutting off now. Oh. Uh, it's a good thing that I'm really chill when when people say that sort of shit. Yeah, <laughs> like, like without I without realizing. Yeah. yeah, like I did not pick up on. <laughs> oh, yeah. it, it it took me like 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 30 seconds. Or not 30 seconds. It took me a handful of seconds to realize. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute. I know about Bright's family history. What the fuck did I just say? <laughs> oh. Yeah. Anyway. Murkrow. I highly apologize. It's fine. Uh, Murkrow. The darkness Pokemon. If spotted. And yeah. Oh. The if... boy bonked me. That is very deserved. Yeah. If spotted, it will lure an unwary person into chasing it, then lose the pursuer on mountain trails. So it's just a okay. massive cunt. <laughs> it's not like actually trying to get away. It lures them to follow it, and then it abandons them. Yeah. That's what I do. I was going to say, it sounds like some people's in the server's parents. Oh, wait. That's what I do. Do I it's have a swamp gas but bird form? I support their endeavors. Do I have a dust stone? <gasps> Ooh. Can I evolve get Evolve the bird. Yep, I can evolve the bird. Bird, bird, bird. Bird is the word. Da, 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 da. Festus. I want to see if Hatchet likes oh. it. I think I've probably seen it before. All I'll say is a lot of people make mafia jokes off of it. Yeah, I feel I feel like I've seen a handful of crow-based Pokemon that you've shown me. <laughs> he's like a little witch boy. Wait, now he's gonna turn into a mafia bird. He cooked the pizza. That doesn't look anything like a mafia bird. Yeah, well, people still make mafia jokes off the bird. Like, he cook at the pizza. I guess I can kind of see it, like a weird elongated fedora. And plus, uh, what it's called, Honchcrow, the big boss Pokemon. Okay, yeah, that's that's a that's a gangster bird. Yeah, a single. I was gonna say it's. Pizza. I was gonna say it's the anti-theist bird. Yeah, and his Pokedex oh, entry God. even gives more. Tips fedora. A single cry from this nocturnal Pokemon, and more than a hundred of its Murkrow cronies will assemble. Oh, yeah. Okay. Transformers, assemble. Those aren't Transformers. Those are evil birds. Shut Don't you know that a, a group of uh, crows is called a murder? Yeah. Do you know what a group of Endermen is called? Why the fuck you play Minecraft when you should be watching your so child? No. <laughs> What is it called? A haunting. Is it? Really? Yeah. Oh. That was I believe that was confirmed by Mojang. Hell yeah, that's cool. They they call a group of Endermen a haunting. I think it okay. Oh yeah. Uh apparently Mojang actually did something really interesting. There's actually three music discs if you put them in at the same time. Well not actually the same time. Alright, you put music discs. Uh, five at music dicks. Music <laughs> disc. Uh, put it in. Wait five seconds. Then put music disc eleven. Wait eleven seconds. Then put music disc thirteen in, and you will have uh, uh music will start playing and it will play a story. Huh. Yeah. The boy is going AFK to grab more pizza. Okay, so what we have to do is start having a really fucked up conversation so they come back to something fucking absurd. I love killing Italians. God, stop <laughs> saying that! Should that's I be worried? Just, like, that's just literally... and that That's like... Like... like <laughs> you said you are, it's something fucked up. Well, yeah, but that doesn't mean... Like, saying hello, yes, I like committing racial crimes. <laughs> hello, yes, I like committing 
mashed with the G word. <laughs> Mass genetics. I like tickling the genetics of baby. <laughs> okay, that sounded really weird. <laughs> what does that mean? Who knows? Oh, I know how to make it really fucked up. Uh, don't you know that the Irish Catholics like taking away poor people's children and doing whatever they wanted with them? Dear God, the, the boy just messaged, I want to act like I didn't, but I brought my Bluetooth earbud with me and that shit was funny. Do you know what Mormon soaking is? I No, I don't. I'm only thinking of 18 plus things and I feel bad about it. Oh no. Right, Mormons! Mormons are like the least adult shit you can get. Oh wait, the boy it is! <laughs> oh, it is, says the boy. Well, which is why there's an entire category for Mormons on most 18 plus sites that I know of. Mormons are like the least attractive beings on the goddamn planet, what? Yeah. I don't know. They look like people that like- I punched a Mormon a once. It's like- it's like surrounding corruption. Cor corrupting the Mormon. Oh, I punched a Mormon once. <laughs> Good oh. job. Nice. I'm just gonna leave it at that, I'm not gonna explain anything. Just leave it at that. Yeah. I approve. Hell. God damn. Hell. Okay. Hell. I'm not killing Hell. it. I need to catch oh, it. I'm, I'm killing. I killed Flamigo. Oh. Hell, pseudo. Well, I did do Kill a bunch of turns, so I'm gonna use a timer ball. Kill pseudo Rudo. Kill. 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 Yep. Perfect. Hey. Bamboo sharks and epaulet sharks are in the same family. They're the same. Uh, oh yeah, it is family. Yeah. Uh, Hatch, I want I want your thoughts on this Pokédex entry. Sudowoodo, the imitation Pokémon. To avoid being attacked, to avoid being attacked, it does nothing but mimic a tree. It hates water and flees from rain. Um. Relatable. Mr. Mr. Pseudo Wudo, <laughs> you might want to find a different thing to mimic. Wait, why is it a rock type? <laughs> Wait, this is okay. <laughs> yep, Pseudo Wudo is a rock type, which is really weird. No oh, bamboo sharks. So apparently, if you to get an Applin, uh, sometimes you just have to ram your head or your Pokemon's head into a tree to shake the down hell an is Applin. This? I can barely see it. Oh my gosh! Look how tiny he is. Fungus. Jesus Christ! It's Fungus. Fungus. Capture the Fungus. I know I caught the evolution. Amoongus. Oh, the evolution is Amoongus? Yeah, remember we named it Among Us? <laughs> yeah. Brown banded bamboo shark. The white spotted bamboo shark. Slender bamboo shark. Oh, fuck. That's Fucking so fuck's sake. Shark. Arabian carpet shark. Hey Hatchet, can you actually see Twitch that, uh, chat, or are you still having problems? Well, I mean, it's still cutting in and out, but yeah, I can see. Best name I've seen yet. Have y'all heard Ace? Well, Hatchet? El Fungus. How do I time out someone? <laughs> how do you time out someone's lungs? I don't, yeah, like, how do I... 
think it's like slash oh, mute or something like that, or slash timeout. Timeout my life. <laughs> timeout my life. Do it. Uh, Fungus, the mushroom Pokemon. This Pokemon prefers damp places. It's first out poisonous, poison spores to repel approaching enemies. Uh, let's see. Don't, uh, don't you dare! <laughs> don't mute me. <laughs> Flash a timeout. Are you actually gonna time them out? 69. <laughs> if you do it, I'll come back with a cursed fact. Then you'll get timed out for longer. <laughs> yeah, and you'll, you'll be again. yeah, then you'll be timed out for four, uh, 20 seconds. Oh. oh, also, when you, when you, uh, wait, have you noticed that Nurse Joy refers to you as champion after you become a champion? Yeah. That's cool. I didn't notice that. I'm pretty sure she does in other games, too, but that's cool. Label. Let's see if this works. I'm going to time you out for 30 seconds. See if that works. Yep. Yes, it worked. You are timed out for 30 seconds. Silence. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, when you time out someone, it deletes all the messages. What? Huh. Yeah. False <laughs> Wait, Hatchet, oh. you're gonna love this. Primate, the pig monkey Pokemon. Some researchers theorize that Primate remains angry even when inside a Pokeball. Yeah, after you use- I think you have to use a certain move of that it can learn 20 times, it turns into a Cinerate. Oof. Yeah. I don't know if- let me be clear, I don't know if this is an abuse of power, but I also don't know if I care. <gasps> there you are, you son of a bitch! Finally! <laughs> I got you! You have no idea how- and you delete my message about slots. <laughs> it's your own fault. Oh, I ain't standing man. cursed memes. Do another cursed meme. You'll just get timed out for longer. I will go mad with my power. Maybe slacking can learn false swipe? Garchomp can learn false swipe. Yeah, but I'll, in all, actu in all actuality, I won't. I won't do that again. I don't want to be too much of a dick. Watch like the boy actually create like fifty accounts just, just to do that. <laughs> just like constant. Well, then they could easily be reported and taken off of Twitch. Yeah. Oh wait, look, the boys, the boy did a curse fact. Oh, I didn't see it because my thing dated. Bro, yes. I got five Gmail accounts I can sign in right now. <laughs> what what cursed fact did the boy say? Uh, they said, have y'all seen toddler skulls? The teeth are disturbing. Oh, yeah. Let me go look that up. Do not look that up. I have a VPN, don't worry. Yeah, but you'll probably get trauma from it. And I don't think you need any more of that. Oh, what the fuck is this image? Look it up, it's bad. Okay, that's, um... What? The, uh, um, the, um... It's, um, this is, um, I, uh, oh, that's not good for trypophobia. I'm just gonna pretend I didn't see that. Oh, is it that the one with the, with holes? Yeah, like, there's no actual bone covering all the teeth, so you can see all the adult teeth and the baby teeth. Oh, damn. That's... that was very unpleasant. It's four rows of teeth. Congratulations, you have seen it's... the most fucked up shit known to man. 
that is not the most fucked up shit known to man. You know have what? You not, have you not seen the jokes Bright says? Good point. That is a good okay, point. I, uh, in my okay, I have actually now just signed into my parents' account. I'm gonna look up to Toddler Skull. Oh no, don't do that on your parents' account! <laughs> no, no, Bright's parents deserve Oh dear god! Yeah, it's that. Yeah. That oh, is slacking, slacking to oh. learn false swipe. Let's what the go. fuck? Wait, why is there a picture with the with a child that has a hole in their forehead? What the fuck? Well, it's called a s soft spot, right? No, like in like a bullet sized hole. Soft, soft, soft spot. I don't know. Dragon, I'm saying that was... probably someone got shot. Who shot the baby? <laughs> Actually, we live in America. Um... Okay. That's going in quotes. <laughs> <We> <laughs> the, baby. the boy says, Twas me. No, the boy, don't do that. Why did you shoot baby? Oh, a Zora arc in the wild. I didn't. Okay. Uh, quotes and things. Who I was, shot the baby? I was trying to focus in pre calc. <laughs> I don't. With all due respect, I don't think that is how you uh, focus. Also, looks like I have to catch the Spood's evolution. Yes! Even though I hate it, and it's ugly, and I want it dead, and I'll kill it. What's your problem? The Spood's evolution? Like the, you mean the, like, the, like the karate spider? Mm-hmm. Why do you not like it? It has, ins it has insomnia. <laughs> as, it, Does, as a thing. We need to ask if Spood has insomnia. We <laughs> do. All right, jump. Oh wait, luff. we did, oh. didn't we? Yeah, jump Does luff. The cottonweed Pokemon. He wears cotton spores. If you accidentally breathe them in, you'll be racked with coughs and itchiness. Piece of shit. Also, Fucking I accidentally killed Food's evolution. Bad child. I didn't mean to kill Spood. That just downgrades it to manslaughter. Or spider slaughter. <laughs> Alright. So now I need to go to South Providence Area 1. And I can get... Oh, there's a Ditto here? Yeah, okay. So with Ditto... Uh, Ditto takes a form of different Pokemon. So if you notice a Pokemon acting really fucky, or when you la uh, latch onto it, where you can see the name uh, with the uh, L L Z button or Z L button, uh, so it says Hop it, it, it has a question mark. Alinge, Hop it, Hop it, Hop it, Scyther. Meow. Meow. Sidawudo. God damn it. It's goddamn Hop monkey. Hop Squish. Hop hip. Squish. Hop hip. Hop hip. Look up the slender bamboo shark. Ditto! Get your ass <laughs> over here. I'm gonna need you. But a Pokedex. Obviously, I'm gonna need to get a Japanese Ditto. Eventually. It just transformed. Oh, huh. It transformed into Lemon. Oh no. Slender Bamboo Shark. What do these boys look like? Mother, oh, I, this fucking monkey. I caught Ditto. Good job. Oh, did you know that Ditto is related to Mewtwo and Mew, Hatchet?
Literally all Pokemon are related to Mew. Well, there's also they're also related to Mew too. Why won't this goddamn level twenty six fucking monkey yeah. get in a goddamn ball? How, how would I? How would I know about that? Yeah. Awesome. Ditto, the transform Pokemon. It can freely recombine its own cellular structure to transform into other life forms. And yes, it can transform into a human. Wait, for my Pokedex, it says that Dittos can turn into anything almost perfectly, unless you can make it uh, laugh. Well, mine's different. Yours is boring. Calcium punctatum. Calocelium punctatum. Wait, wait, hold on. That is a really funny Latin name. Kiliocenum. Kilio. Right, 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 right. By the way, those, those Pokemon, uh, those are not where the Pokemon is located. It just means that they're in the area. Okay. <laughs> Make over South Providence. It's five, four. Three. Wait. Two. There's one. That's six. Where's one? That's four. What? Ah, South Providence Area One. It's right over here. Which means I need to set its destination. And I should find. Pokemon I'm looking for over there. Thanks for pranking seeing the average number of skeletons in a human body is greater than one. I have actually uh, 0.5 bones. Uh, the FDA, FDA allows small amounts of rat droppings and candy bars. What? The picture of your funeral program may have already been taken. Yeah. Probably not, because I don't have a lot of pictures taken of me. Or do you? I don't. How do you know? I don't. How do you know people don't take pictures of you secret? I lock my door. That's not <laughs> enough. <laughs> I lock my door, because I'm not a fucking idiot. Or are yeah. you? That's not enough. Right? Yeah. Shush. No. Shush. 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 Okay. You no. walk near a window sometimes. Shush. Yeah, you, you... Actually, all my blinds are closed. Always. There's Fletchling. I don't need Fletchling. Fletchling is adorable. It's not the one I'm looking for. I'm looking for its evolution. And, it, and the site said it could be over here. Do I have... Yeah, I have those. Hermes Bamboo Shark. Oh. A Pikachu walks into the- into a- what the fuck is wrong with your dinosaur? A Pikachu walks into a bar. What does it order? I would answer, but you're a child. What? I would answer, but I don't give a fuck. What? <laughs> By the way, thanks, Hatcher, for carrying 
my words for the rest of the stream. Sometimes grateful for that. Oh. I didn't even realize the skeleton, your skeleton is wet right now. Thing. I so thanks for carrying my words to the grave. I mean, sometimes grateful for that. Oh, whoa, what the fuck? What is that? I'm not quite sure what you're talking about. Do you mean like how Bright and I occasionally read stream chat out loud? I think so. Also, Wait, where did you find that? Uh, in the South Pro Providence number one. Okay, faint writing is carved into the shrine. I mean, yeah, no problem. Yeah, herein lie sealed the ruinous tablets. I, th I think that is where one of the legendaries are at. Oh no! What place to hide? Oh no, I think I found an image of a tasseled wabagon just fucking gulping up a uh, a bamboo shark. Rip. I know a skill issue, not gonna lie. I don't think I what? caught this. No, I didn't. What does that even mean, child? I... I don't know. I lost... All of my sanity. We can tell. You lost the plot. Right. I know you're not the one talking shit about my sanity. I know damn well you're not. Hey, I admit that I'm insane. You don't. Because I'm the most sane, sane person on the planet. Yeah, right. I am. Anyway. Scatterbug. A scatter dust Pokemon. This Pokemon scatters poisonous powder to repel enemies. It'll eat different plants depending on where it lives. The boy says you got more than me though. Keep on going. Thumbs up. I'm guessing that's referring to your sanity, penguin. Okay, I did catch that penny. That's all I need to know. Cybeam? See, fleshling. Did you not have Cybeam? Acid spray. Okay, so note to self remember not to take Reddit seriously ever. What horrible hot take did someone on Reddit have? Oh no, it's it's not that. It's I'm searching for a Burmese bamboo shark, and then one of the first images that pops up is from a Reddit thread where it says, "A Burmese bamboo shark looks like World War II camo." Um, the image that he put here appears to be a black, a brown banded bamboo shark, <laughs> so it's the wrong species of bamboo shark. <laughs> Did you just take Reddit as true? Oh no, I never took Reddit as true. You're one. Ac actually, the only the only thing I ever take Reddit into account for is when I'm trying to figure out how to do something in a video game. I, feel I tend like Reddit... to find good suggestions there sometimes. Yeah, Reddit's the only place that has like good suggestions for video games, and then they have like the worst horrid takes about women in the same breath. Well, I mean that kind of makes sense. It's like. I would like to speak with you. A I T A. The yeah, I take is true is the illegal life pro tips. <laughs> East Providence area one. Oh maybe Well maybe that is a picture of a band of a Burmese bamboo shark. I'd want to see the origin of the image. It's 90% fake. Or 99% fake. Which means there's a 1% possibility it's real. So take that 1% to be true. Take or it to is heart. It? Always take it to heart. Shut the fuck up. 
What oh. if I don't want to? <sighs> hey, Hatchet, am I allowed to mute child? No shit. No. <laughs> Immediate no. 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 Why? Why no. should I You're not? Allow obviously it? allowed to mute the child. Shush! No, don't remind her of her own rules. She'll go mad with All power. Right, I'll mute them. No. <laughs> You know what, since I'm muted, I can say horrible fun facts. You're not muted, dumbass. Oh, Actually, yep. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh my so god, this is great. Fun facts. Okay, so this is great. Remember how I said that I found, like, that thing where, like, someone was saying uh, what looked to be a brown banded bamboo shark? Or, I mean, uh, yeah, they're saying that it's the Burmese uh, bamboo shark? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I literally just looked up the actual scientific name, mm -hmm. uh, for the brown banded bamboo shark, and I immediately found the exact same image <laughs> under the <laughs> proper scientific name. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> or maybe you're the dumbass. What? No, like, my point being that the image that they showed was 100% a brown banded bamboo shark when they were talking about a brown oh. shark. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wait, no, I'm a dumbass. Yeah, yeah you're a dumbass. <laughs> Don't confirm that. <laughs> Don't confirm yeah. that. Fuck you. Hey, I'm just gonna say factual information, okay? Yeah. Let Leo, the Lion Club Pokemon. The more a Let Leo trains its body and spirit by battling many enemies, the higher, the hotter its mane will grow. A-I-T-A for giving chocolate to my brother's son? What is A-I-T-A? Am I the asshole? Oh. Read it. I want to... I... Read it. Okay. Am I the asshole, asshole for giving chocolate to my brother's son? And it'll be about their brother having a lapdog. And there will be many arguments and comments. Go back up a few messages to the burning brown brother. Burning down brother's house. Oh yeah, I missed this. You'll see a title like, Am I the asshole for burning down my brother's house? And it'll be about accidentally knocking over a med lab on the way to rescue their daughter from a robber. Because the amount of times I've listened to Am I the Asshole stories... No, this is, the, what, this is what you can always tell. So if they start out trying to make themselves, like the title is them trying to make it themselves sound, sound like they did something innocently wrong, they're almost always the asshole. If it sounds like they did something legitimately fucked up, they're almost always not the asshole. And did the fucked up thing for like valid reasons or completely on accident. Am I the asshole for shooting my dog? <laughs> my dog has rabies and tried to attack my five-year-old daughter. Am I the asshole for shooting it? Am I the asshole for protesting outside of my local representative office? And no. it's like No, and, and it's like the the image shows like or like he, he describes himself going up to the representative office and just opening Hey Hatchet, it's your favorite Pokemon. <laughs> Gulpin, what the you... stomach Pokemon. It has a small heart and brain. Its stomach comprises most of its body and with enzymes to dissolve anything. It's like okay. me. It's like me. Okay, so this is the Pokemon Chu wants. Kick it. Wanted. Kick it towards Chu. Yeah, kick it towards Chu. Chu can I deal want... with it. I want the Gulpin. It evolves. Guess what it evolves into? I know what it evolves into. Big purple. By the way, my favorite tag is a favorite contest. After enough people voting, they get a tag. That can be... You're the a-hole. Oh, 
Oh, it's the Thick Thighs plant. That is... Or lastly, my favorite. Everyone's the a-hole. I think a story that sticks to me the most uh, from the Am I the Asshole subreddit was about a dad, uh, like a single dad, and he has three sons, but one of his sons is a trans guy. Uh, and he was, and it started off with, Am I the asshole for leaving my sister's wedding? And it's because his sister was being a transphobic piece of shit to his son. Uh, no. You, you, you have every right to leave. Yeah. Yeah, but, like, I'm going, oh, because I... Knowing my general understanding of Reddit, that probably didn't go well. Yeah, it also reminds me of another one that uh, I saw. I keep seeing it on like TikTok every now and then, but it was a husband going like, "Am I the asshole?" F or, "Am I yeah?" I think it was like, "Am I the asshole for being upset that my wife came out as a lesbian?" Uh, and everyone in the comments were like, "She was using the man. She was ignoring the fact that a lot of the times when lesbians get with men, they're either regressing their sexuality or they are too afraid to come out." And with it, it, he specified in the story that he wasn't upset with his wife at all. Like he was upset because of how long they were in a relationship, but like he wasn't upset because she was a lesbian, especially because her family was incredibly homophobic. So mm -hmm. it was like, yeah, that's why she got with a man because her family would literally fucking disown her. Not and he specified mention, she would have been disowned. Not to mention, thanks to probably a mixture of societal factors, mm -hmm. um, like, the le lesbian women tend to uh, realize that they are lesbians far later in life than most other sexualities. Because mm -hmm. not only just like, a mix think, of hetero. Yeah, like, I think. Yeah, I think it's like an. Sorry, I'll, I'll let you talk in a sec. I think it's like an average around like realizing it around like late twenties, early thirties, which is just buck wild. But yeah, go ahead. All right. It's not only it's not okay. So the thing is, the thing with lesbians is it's a mix of sexism, misogyny, both internalized and like just like, regular misogyny. Yeah. And uh, I'll. I feel like most, if not all, queer people at some point have dealt with, uh, like, heteronormativity and thinking, oh, I have to be straight. But then there's yeah. also combat, which only lesbians can experience because, again, it's the mix of uh, misogyny and sexism and uh, heteronormativity. I've... It's really specific. I've never heard combat. It means com it's Just... a pretty much a shortened version of com uh, compulsive heterosexuality. No, no my, my point being, like, I've heard that used reasonably for like multiple people with multiple sexualities i've never heard it be used specifically as this is for lesbians yeah uh, anyway uh th uh stene stene bounces energetically through force if the rind that peels off its body is pulver pulverized it can be used to treat stomach pains I mean, I could be wrong, but I've never heard it used in the context of it's just for lesbians. That's the only time I've ever heard it used for. Yeah. Because there's, because sometimes I feel like people mix up combat, uh, combat with heteronormativity. Because they do overlap in some instances, but they are very, like, very different. Let me look these terms up. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna look these terms up. Also, the boy posted a link that appears to go to an Am I the asshole for making a dad joke? That's gonna be... Oh, dear God. That's gonna be oh, bad. No. Oh, oh, God. No. Why am I very afraid? So I'm back on the grind for the green apple. No. Shut up. No. Shut up. No. Shush. No. Shush. Shush. No. Shush. Shush. Let's see. So heteronormativity uh, involves the assumption that 
everyone is naturally heterosexual, and that heterosexuality is an ideal superior to homosexuality or bisexuality. Now, come. Compulsive. Oh, there's another term, compuls compulsive heterosexuality, often shortened to comp hat, is the theory that heterosexuality is assumed and enforced upon people by a patriarchal and heteronormative society. The term was popularized by Andreen Rich in her 1980, 1980 essay, Compulsory Heterosexuality and Lesbian Existence. Yeah. Like, I guess, like, like, that's the thing. This could still easily be applied to more than just lesbians. Because, like, obviously men are also heavily affected by patriarchy and negative ways as well. Like, that's literally the entire point behind talking about toxic masculinity. Yeah. Let's see. According to Rich's theory, women in every culture are believed to have an innate preference for relationships with men, and this leads women to devalue and minimize the importance of their other relationships with other women. She suggests that women are socialized to identify with males and to cast their social political and intellectual ally uh, allegiances with them and are discouraged from identifying with other females. That's definitely very common. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what like m most people specify is that part. Yeah. The idea states that male dominance is a patriarchal society is a major factor in enforcing. Okay, yeah, and we've got specifics here. Compulsory female heterosexuality. So like it like compulsory heterosexuality could uh be used to describe anyone in the society, but you can get specific with how it's happening with mm -hmm. like female or male heterosexuality. Yeah. Uh, uh also. Rookie D, the tiny bird Pokemon. The females are fussier than the males. If another creature dirties a female Rookie D's wings, it'll It'll pick the offender re relentlessly in a burn burning rage. Oh. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah, we, we got all the way further down on the page. While the concept of compulsory heterosexuality initially only included women, later revisions of the idea have included discussion about how compulsory heterosexuality necessarily requires both men and women to reinforce the construct. Ergo, the... Con that compulsory heterosexuality impacts males as well. A uh, whole bunch of names I can't pronounce found that even heterosexual males reported being negatively impacted by compulsory heterosexuality through being groomed to aggressively pursue women and through the interactions that society allows them to have with other males. And in another article entitled, In a Different Position, Conceptualizing Female Adolescent Sexuality Development in Compulsory Heterosexuality. Oh, God, I love I love scientific study names. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's such a mouthful. Tolman uses the term hegemonic masculinity to describe the set of norms and behaviors that dominate the social development of males. However, hegemonic masculinity mirrors Rich's construct of compulsory heterosexuality by pointing out that the social institutions that demand specific behaviors for males, she says, these norms demand that men deny most emotions safe for anger, be hard at all times, and in all ways engage in objectification of women and sex itself and participate in the continu continuum of violence against women. Yeah, so basically, it's just one of those really, eh, it's one of the really um, complicated terms within uh, gender theory Yeah. and feminist literature. It basically, it, it, it works in when women are the ones who are primarily, like, like it starts with talking about women in the ways that they are being treated and basically in males it seems to basically just be another term for toxic masculinity mm -hmm. 
which makes quite a bit of sense. The way that I used compulsory heterosexuality up until this point was the fact that, yeah, like, when I realized I was pan, it genuinely took me a significant portion of time to just weed out the thought that I was doing something wrong by being attracted to other men, to other males. Like, specifically because there were other males in the picture. Mm -hmm. So, like, that that's why I kind of took issue with the idea that it only hinged on women specifically. Anyway, let's get well, back to the... Like a, I wouldn't even say it's a specifically, like, woman term, because lesbians go... They're, they're all, all types of lesbians, and it's not, like, yeah. just woman loving woman. Yeah, true, true. Non-binary people are very swaggy. <laughs> So uh, yeah, I hope I hope everyone enjoyed the momentary little bit of extra education on feminist theory and uh, gender studies. Feminism is swag, except for old feminism, which everyone acts is better. But dear God, a lot of those bitches were ra really racist. Yeah, like the original, like like every feminist movement, I think has problems. Mm -hmm. I think the first feminist movement was very white feminism, you know, focused pretty much entirely on getting white women to vote while completely ignoring uh, women of other races. Mm -hmm. um, secondary wave feminism had a lot of problems in really strictly keeping in line with uh, the gender binary and not considering, like, even at the time, growing academic evidence of uh, a, a variance in gender identities than rather than just man and woman. This also seems to have been around the time that the idea of feminism being a sex, like biological sex issue was really brought in to feminism, which is again, kind of dicey because like, yeah, there's a lot of things that are important to talk about when it comes to biological sex when talking about feminism but like it's not the whole picture and when you only focus on especially like assigned at birth sex uh you, you get you get fucking turfs my, my general stance is that turfs are the second wave feminists that only rely upon trauma to judge their emotions and don't update with the times. Yeah. That's how I would describe them. And I think third wave feminism, granted I'm a little biased because that's where I became a feminist, but I think third wave feminism has had the most significant positive effect on feminist discourse. Because it's much, like, third wave feminism very much includes more intersectional perspectives of feminism. It was like intersectionality, if I remember correctly, was first like brought up in literature, like in the early 90s. So it's really caught on since then. Mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of people forget intersectionality and how like, yeah. like not everything. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. I keep forgetting that after you become a champion uh, in the raids, you have a wall Pokemon with your teammates. But I feel like a lot of people forget intersectionality exists like and as always exists, existed. Yeah, the... Which is why, if I remember... Oh, go ahead. Which is, if I remember correctly, uh, there's the term uh, misogynoir, which is uh, sexism against black women, which is like the mix of uh, mm. sexism and racism. Yeah. Which a lot of people forget, like, yeah, people can face many, many problems at the same time, they are not one thing. It's not like when you choose a starter Pokemon. It's not like you yeah. get one. No, you you get. Oh boy, a lot, a lot of issues at once. Yeah, and I guess that's a big thing that I appreciate about intersectionalism is the fact that it's much more interested in looking at. Uh, <laughs> sorry to disrupt your actual conversation with this butt lightning aside, just made me snarkle and smack myself. 
the boy is doing stuff. I shall read it as it comes in. Um. Ah, oh, god damn it! My train of thought just just derailed. Um, it port. Um. Fucking hell. Yeah, I think intersectionalism is more interested in understanding all modes of oppression, which I think is important. Like, uh, like, I think one of the biggest downsides to first and second wave feminism is they did view oppression through the lens of trying to understand it as a system of oppression as opposed to just individualized oppression, like most liberals treat this stuff like it is. But the thing that I appreciate about intersectionalism is the fact that it basically consolidates all the different ways that we can talk about how oppression is put onto individuals, while also being able to talk about oppression as a system. Like, rather than just talking about just misogyny, just racism, just, uh, homophobia, it does a good job of bringing it all together in a very holistic way that can give, I think, a much more accurate picture of what individual people experience on a daily basis. Yeah. While also keeping in mind the systemic aspects of these topics. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people forget that, uh, like, people that go, like, uh, fucking, is usually used in, like, white, uh, you know, group, white S word groups, where they go, like, oh, white, uh, racism goes always, forgetting the fact, especially when, if they live in America, ex forgetting the fact that, uh, racism is a, set, a systematic thing, like, there's a difference oh. between bigotry and racism. Well, I think, yeah, that's the big thing, is, like, they don't, uh, it's, it's not that they forget that it's a system, it's that they don't accept that it's a system. That it's that, that they're, it's, it's that they're very heavily, uh, convinced that racism doesn't exist as a system and rather exists solely as an individual issue that still most of the time they would say still does exist in places but you know it's not a fundamental aspect of the system we live in because i mean look at the laws the laws they they don't say discriminate against black people anymore they don't consider wait reality is like reality is a bit more fucky than that and you have to be able to read between the lines of these laws like, rather than say, oh, look, this amendment freed the slaves, you can go, oh, hey, look, this amendment freed the slaves, except for people who are prisoners. Yeah. Wait. Seven, seven states recently, like, I think on the most recent ballot, literally had something to do with slavery, and if it, it should be legal. Seven states. In the uh. Union. In 2022. Uh, I like how we were having this very serious conversation and Bright was just beating the fuck out of Claude Sire and then caught it. <laughs> yeah, Bright, how, how are you doing over there while we wax fil philosophical about systemic issues? Oh, I'm just being dead quiet. I'm trying to catch Pokemon I need. Do you have any thoughts? No. Yeah. No? I mean, this is not meant to be degrading at all when I say this, Bright, but I, I do get the feeling that you probably try to avoid thinking about some of the stuff as much as people like Penguin and I do because we hyper fixate on it. It is it is, it is really fucking depressing. Yeah. That... It's understandable. Honestly, it's understandable. Yeah, it's that... very understandable. Also, in oh, that, also you... as a content creator, you have to be very careful of what you say. Yeah. I mean, yeah, true. So I, just I, I usually those are two reasons. One is what you said, and second is content creating thing. I just yeah. tend yeah. to avoid it. Also, I just I... called that fucking Pokemon a goddamn alligator. I meant to say uh, turtle. God damn it! 
I, I guess I, I guess that's the big thing is like the thing that I'll caution you there like it's an understandable concern but I'll always caution you to like to keep in mind how a like remaining apolitical and neutral can also be a problem mm-hmm. yeah J- just as much as being hyper political in a conversation because like again remaining apolitical is basically just bystanding when in a conversation about this and if it bleeds into actual policy decisions it's not very good yeah but i also know that you're not the type to just sit back and watch as the world burns no I wait what am i saying you might actually be that type considering your character no 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 bright isn't the one watching the world burn she's oh, the one yeah, burning bright. the world Get yeah right. bright's the one with the fucking flamethrower chainsaw cannon or crocodile yeah but you're good. Gas can. Many of them. Blowing up gas stations. No, no, no. Gas is really expensive. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Use napalm. Wait, what? Child. Use napalm. Child? Mm-hmm. Child. <laughs> that is definitely more expensive than gas. Not if you make it at home. Wait, does Felito evolve? Does it? <laughs> I don't actually know. It, you would think it would evolve. Her phone like, is cheap. Would evolve, but I don't know. Hold on, I got the yeah, list just, of Pokemon. Yeah, just use Styrofoam. Mm, yeah, but Styrofoam's really bad for the environment. And Napalm isn't? No. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did you just say that napalm isn't bad for the environment? Well, it's it's natural. It comes from, uh, uh um, styrofoam. <laughs> and 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 el- uh and medical alcohol, or whatever the fuck it's called. I don't actually remember. Child? You put it. You pour it on your wounds. Ch- child. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <sighs> Shut up. <laughs> Wrong. You you will be silenced. You don't like you don't like being destroyed by facts and logic. Okay, I can't find it, so I have to find the damn number on the po- damn Pokedex. Oh wait, we've got. The boy, idea, diesel gas. You take styrofoam, fill a tank halfway with the gas. You break the styrofoam into pieces. I don't like the way this is going. Let it dissolve. God, I need to be working on my cards, goddammit. Drop it from the fire... Fire fighting... (laughs) Oh, dear God, dude. No! Actually, before I start making more eggs, I should probably save, so in case my game crashes, I don't don't lose too much progress. No. Eat shit. Maybe? And you also probably shouldn't be sharing that information. You know what information you should be sharing? What are the wacky three numbers on the back of your mom's credit card? <laughs> <laughs> what was the first name? What was the name of your first grade teacher? What was the name of the pet that you first had as a child? What is your favorite book franchise? <laughs> What's your favorite color? Also, if your favorite franchise is Harry Potter, I'm outside your door. <laughs> Wait, I well, wonder. Listen. Well, listen, someone can like Harry Potter and not pick up on the anti-Semitism and not be a turf because they don't think about it. Yeah, they're just it's not, headed off. It's, head it's, empty. It's, yeah, it's it's not much better, but it's it's like just like blind blind agreement or blind enjoyment. You I I feel like the issue with that though is 
I feel like right. when you're a child, you get a pass with that because you're a kid, you true, don't understand. True. But if you're an adult and you don't realize the issues, yeah, you but, are a red flag. I am sorry. Though, to be but... fair, that can also just be a result of whitewashed uh, education. Fair point. Like, I know a YouTuber but, that's... But, sorry, uh, uh, Bright was trying to say something. Sorry, sorry. Uh, sorry Bright. The flittle does, evolves into the ostrich. Oh god, the what? Fuck? How? I thought it was gonna evolve into the dancing bird. Nope, I just looked it up. It evolves into the ostrich. Why? Uh, okay. How does that work? Sure. But uh yeah, there's I... a YouTuber I really like. Uh and she's she likes Harry Potter, but she understands that it's really fucked up. And the only reason she, she likes Harry Potter as much as she does is because it's her special interest because she's autistic. But she realizes everything yeah. fucked up with it, and she understands why a lot of people really dislike the franchise. Yeah. And also, she doesn't financially support J.K. Rowling in any way. Yeah. That's a healthy manner to go about it. Yeah. I'm gonna go get something to drink. No. Fuck you. Oh, Jesus Christ. The boy, what are you doing? I think the boy is possessed. Wait, how do you do that? I know. Oh god, don't give bright ideas. No, don't give no, bright hey. ideas. Tell me how you do that, I wanna know. I- What? <laughs> I think they're trying to communicate. Is this demon language? What the fuck? It reaches above other messages? How? What? How does it reach other messages? <laughs> I think. Are you, are you... <laughs> but. Hell yeah. This is cursed. <laughs> yeah, Corvus... no shit. You've been possessed by the devil. What's going on? Yeah. Also, Corvus Squire, the Raven Pokemon. This intelligent Pokemon will quickly learn how to use any tool it can hold in its beak or its talents. So if I put a gun in its beak... Don't. Just don't. What? Bad, right. Why bad? What do you think? I'm just asking a question. I'm not saying I'll do it, I'm just asking a question. Nah, asking the question is enough reason for me to believe that you're gonna try doing it. You have no proof. Yeah, I have no proof. I just have, what, about two years of experience dealing with your bullshit. Bestess. Oh, my big lad. Okay, that's so many characters trying to send it in Discord causes it to send as a file. <laughs> Wait, is that the Zalgo writing? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you're not supposed to say his name. Zalgo, I mean, Zalgo, 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 Zalgo. It's a fictional character. What does it matter? My eyes feel weird. The fuck? It's a joke, because basically, when oh. you say his name, your eyes your eyes turn putrid black. Oh. Yeah. Oh, fuck you. You put me to sleep, sack of shit. Okay, I'm keeping the website to do this, and it takes a while, it's even worse. It's not compressed. Oh, they used a website. A website?
god, finally a decent picture of one of these fucking sharks. Boomy. I have no idea if I'll be able to copy this perfectly into Streamlabs. Oh my gosh. Boomy? Hey, Hatchet, look what I did. God damn it. Child, mm. get the shotgun. Sorry, I don't have one. Uh, I did Zago text. I didn't do that. That's Zago text. Not regular curse text. Hi, Hatchet. Look at what I did. Did? That's did? Or wait, did? Is it did? Oh, uh, let me see. Oh. Hey, Hatchet, look what I learned how to do. Oh, it's. It stops. Oh. It, it's just L E. Thanks. Oh, oh, well. Thanks. Let's talk about the wondrous world of legs. I. I, okay, personally, hot take. I really want to try pig legs before I die. No. Why? Sending the nukes. What? <laughs> like grilled up on a barbecue? Okay. I'm sending why, the nukes. Why, why are you saying no and sending the nukes? I just want to try a pig... And I said no. Actually, okay, it's not as bad as me saying I want to try, like, lamb or pig eyeball. Can we throw out the I would honestly probably have less of an issue with lamb eyeball. Fair point. Apparently, I, I actually... <coughs> Ow, fuck. You okay? Oh. I I okay. So I tried some really bad type of spark sparkling water uh, before pouring it down the drain because it tasted really fucking bad. But uh, and it uh, every time I have soda, I burp and it goes up my nose and I hate it. Oh God, yeah, that's awful. Whoever invented that feeling should be lit on fire. No, I don't Shut think up. that. I don't think that was invented. You don't know um, that. Or do um, I? Bright and I feel like Bright invented when you burp after drinking soda, it hurts your nose. She probably shouldn't give Bright that much power. Bandit bamboo shark. Brown. Ah, oh, man, I love, I love that. Hey name. guys, I have to type something up. Uh, entertain a stream. Oh. Right. You have to type something. What do you have? To Why do I feel up? like Bright's being sued? <laughs> Bright, I am sending my lawyers. If you plug it back in over eight times, your computer starts lagging. My friends keep sending me uh, TikToks with funny little cats, and I love them all. They're just so derpy. Like, my friend just sent me a, a video of a cat sticking its tongue out, and his name is Moo Moo. Poppy. What? Got a, Moo Moo? Got a Moo general. Moo. Hey, Send. Oh, it, it cuts down a bit. Because it's Discord. Fuck you, Discord. What's the Zago stuff's gone? Hey, Bamboo Shark. You know what? 
Okay, look, I know you're not supposed to, like, stay on people on the internet, because there is a chance that they could turn out to be really beat giant pieces of shit. Y'all know the lady Dylan? No. She's a trans lady. She had an inter- she interviewed, uh, Biden. No, I- no, I haven't heard it. You are missing out, she is wonderful. Uh, anyone that slanders that lady, I am punching in the face. Give me five seconds. What? <laughs> Wright's getting ready to slander. Why would you slander her? Because he told me not to. She's amazing! So? Does it, it, you told me not to, so I'm gonna do it. Why? why? What do you gain? P uh, your pure annoyance and anger. That just sounds like the quote unquote logic turfs use. <laughs> Today on Unsolved Mysteries, is Bright a turf? Jesus Christ, I mean, no. Are, I mean, there are trans women that are turf somehow. I don't know how the fuck that works, but. And <laughs> Jiri immediately responded to what I wrote in Zago. They, they, they said no. It seems. Uh, if I had to guess, I, I'd i be willing to guess that you're, like, thinking of trans meds that are, like, really, really fucking weird about it. Yep. Yeah, uh, that's that makes sense. Let's be real, all trans meds are really fucking weird about it. Well, yeah. It's kind of an- I, I think being really fucking weird about it is a necessity of being a bigot. Why be a bigot when you can shut the fuck up? You know? Why be a bigot when you could pet a cat? No, no, cats do- bigots do not deserve to be, uh, to pet cats. No, that's the point. Like, if- if you're not a bigot, you get to pet cats. Good point. I believe I am not a bigot, and I am petting my Festus. Also, okay, uh, so I have a- Oh my- oh, come on, the boy. Oh, fucking hell. Uh, oh, god. I fucking hate you. Oh, god. The boy put in really fucked up letters. If you finish reading this, I am now behind you. <laughs> <laughs> well, are you gonna- what are you gonna do? Punch them in the face? The boy. Okay, that's fun. <laughs> yeah. Dawn Fan, armor Pokemon. Dawn Fan's a normally calm Pokemon, but once it's in rage, it'll curl its body into a ball and charge at you while rolling. Do you know the phone? I'm guessing I don't know the phone number. There are literally millions of phone numbers. You know my fun phone number. No, I don't. No, I don't. Yes. Why yeah. did the child- why- why did- why did the boy just send a phone number in our Twitch chat? My phone number is 420-420-69. That's no. not even- a, that's not even enough characters. You Shut fail. Up. Shut you should have said- 69. Yeah, there you go, that's better. Sorry, I forgot 169. So you shouldn't be saying 69, sorry. Do you? I, I don't know. Did you know uh, there are types of cats that honk? Yeah, you said this yesterday. The wood. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you like the cats that honk? Grimer, when the like, sludge Pokemon. I like most cats. When two of these Pokemon bodies are combined together, new poisons are created. Okay. I see, this is giving me ideas. No, oh, Festus. I mean, Bright, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Just no Festus. Oh, wait. Oh, Quaxley's evolving. I was thinking about Festus because he's got a big lump on his neck from where he got a vaccine. Oh my god, what the fuck? Oh my god. 
fabulous Cassidy's Quaxley. Gay doc. Quaxwell, the practicing Pokemon. The hardworking Quaxwell observes people and Pokemon from various regions and incorporates their movements into their its own dance routines. Damn. Wait for its next evolution. Oh wait, you've already seen its next evolution. Never mind. Hatchet yeah. hasn't. Hatchet hasn't. No, I haven't. Prepare. Yeah, like it's, and it's like really weird. Like the bump that he has, like you can you can like grab it and pull on it, and he like seems to almost enjoy it. Like he's like it is obviously not causing him any pain, but it's just weird. Cats are very weird creatures. Like, I'm, I'm literally pulling on the bump right now, and he looks like he's in heaven. Oh. What is your problem, Festus? <laughs> Dirty's joining in on it now. Where they're questioning oh. about my Zago text. Oh, Jesus Christ. Where'd you put it? SCP General? Yeah. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> what is that? Minor spelling mistake. <laughs> oh, no, no, my- No! The boy! Don't! <laughs> I see you typing in there. Oh. actually kind of surprised none of y'all have heard my timer go off for collecting my eggs from my apple fucker uh, oh wait i should probably not call him apple fucker that's actually oh in this context oh no oh god yeah no oh. don't dragon no <laughs> never say that I again didn't mean it in that context. oh god oh no no because that's what is what my ditto is oh god oh silence I didn't mean it in that way, I swear. I wasn't thinking. <laughs> right, it is never time think. to banish the Right, it is time to banish the child to the shadow realm. No, I don't to the shadows. That was where I was born from. No. I'm born in the shadows. Shadowed by them. Star Saravia, the Starling Pokemon. They maintain huge oh. flocks, although fierce scuffles break out between various flocks. It's a Durna. Hi, hi, hey, Durna. Hey. The boy is being a bad influence on Bright, which is weird because the boy is like seven, not seventeen. What's the seventeen? Somewhere along, sixteen or seventeen. Sixteen. Yeah, sixteen. Oh, oh, oh you were talking about the wrong person. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, the boy slash mind yeah. kill. Uh. They the person great who made the bright bird. Penguin? Penguin? Yeah? Uh, did you- did you see the shiny and dumb post? Yeah. <clears throat> what do you think? Is it just the nose is shiny? Cause I don't see much difference other than that. The, f the first one is just the nose turning blue, but the second one is much more noticeable and I love her. Arabian carpet shark. Yeah, that's better I'm, than the nose turning. Just turning blue. I'm still peeved that I couldn't find a good image of a Mexican, uh, what was it? Mexican horned shark. Those dudes are cute. Mm. I feel kind of bad for Bright because she's only caught one shiny. I'm not trying Bright. to go after shinies. Bright is a like... failure. <clears throat> Wasn't that like uh, one of the foods that she caught? No, oh, her first, her shiny was an an indeed. I did not catch it a was... spiny spood. Yeah, no shiny spood. Jerry Bright. looked up what the shiny spood looked like. Bright is a disappointment to all. I can hear you. That's the point. I will only say mean things about you to your face. 
never behind your back. Fuck you. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Mm, me? Yeah. Yeah. I'm fine. Okay. Yay! Aww. Arabian carpet sharks. They're so cute. Damn. Oh, okay, okay. So, fun fact. Um, no. So, I was watching a video, right? And it was, uh, he... he he was playing a corruption of Detective Pikachu. And that sounds awful. It was a, D a 3DS game, but... God, why is my phone being laggy? Christ. Because yeah. you're talking about Detective Pikachu. Phone knows. The phone disapproves. What if I also disapprove? That's wow. much less important. Wow, fuck you. <laughs> well, I mean, you don't have access to the child's phone. That you know of. Uh, my phone is being buggy and I have a timer going and I don't think I'll be able to turn off the timer if my phone is doing what I think it's doing. Oh, wait. Nope. Arabian corporate shark. Uh oh. Hey, Bright, so you plan to stay up to the standard time? 2 a.m., yeah. Okay. I don't have anything tomorrow. I'm still mad at Xfinity. Are you gonna extend the. I already did. Um, I already oh, did. Oh, you already extended it to take into account the. Yeah, pickup. I counted the, the amount of time. Internet was down and replaced it in. Gotcha. Still pisses me off. Yeah. There. I think it's been five minutes. What? Arabian carpet shark! No, it's not shiny. It was just the way the sun was hitting it. Yeah, it's shiny's white. What if I caught. A shiny Arabian carpet shark. I don't think that Fuck exists. I know. No, no, it doesn't. But let's imagine for a moment. What if I shoved a whole ass carpet shark into a tiny ball? How do you think the shark would feel? <laughs> ah, I found a lazy and stupid as fuck Pokemon. I already caught it, so I don't, don't need to. Don't insult it like that. It literally dips its tail in the ocean and lets animals eat its own tail. Look, it, ugh, don't insult it. It's trying its best. <laughs> its best is not good enough. It's stupid as fuck. Okay, and that's what everyone said to me when I was growing up. But here I am, on a bright stream. There, that's accurate. That doesn't really. That doesn't help your case. Yeah, <laughs> that doesn't help your case. Yeah. Also, this nine, is a sushi fish, by the way. Nine, nine times out of ten. Ah. Katsugi. Oh. Yep. Yeah, like nine times out of ten, it's a pretty accurate identifier that if you are in a bright stream, you are probably very dumb. It just ended its own life. Oh. Rip, right. rip him. Okay, let's be light enough. Do I have a quick ball? No, I do not. Your stream gives me brain cells back. I take them from y'all. <laughs> you can't take my brain cells. I don't have any. Joke's on you. I don't have any. Yeah. Ha! Ah, I beat you to the dumb joke. Eat shit. No. Or did you? Oh. Shut the fuck up. Or will I? Die. I swear, if it dies again... Die. Kill it. Kill it. Oh my gosh! 
What the fuck? These Pokemon really do not want to live. Damn, that's relatable. Oh, it's oh, an orange God. one. Oh, I keep forgetting Magikarp's. Not Magikarp, goddammit. Mudkip's shiny is pink. Uh. Actually, oh, I think this is a different one. Yeah, because it's not using that fucking move where it takes its own life. Oh, god damn it! The second I mention it. Honestly, how I felt when I was murdering, um, killing Pokemon with my Selby. <laughs> and, uh,. In what is it called? Man, face a mon. <laughs> oh, I wonder if Pixelmon got an update for these type of Pokemon. Probably still I working guess... on the models. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm guessing they would need to wait a while. Or have to work on it for a while. And they'd have to, like, Put in the like new models for their other po for the like other Pokemon. <laughs> God damn it! Stop taking your life, damn it! It's not even hurting me. The brown banded bamboo shark is complete, and they're fucking adorable. Getting pissed off. What the fuck is that move? It just takes their own life, that's all. Oh, the, a yellow one. I just need one of them. Just one of these. Wait, there's a yellow one? Is that a shiny? No. Uh. Yeah, uh, they come in, naturally they come in yellow, pink, and red. No! I don't know if they have a shiny. Oh my god. He's that spotted. actually did some damage. Jeez. Yeah. White spotted bamboo shark. They're so Come on! Cute. Watch, either either Lemon's gonna die or they're gonna fucking use that damn move. Finally! Hell yeah. God. This is even worse than a fucking, uh, what were they called? Altria. You remember that? That's, remember the, that's that the, the cloud bird. Oh god, yeah. Alright, Tatsugiri, the Mimicry Pokemon. It's one of the most intelligent dragon you, Pokemon. You mean Altaria? Altaria, yeah, sorry. I don't oh, know. so I think that's Tatsugi. Yeah. Tats, well, there's an R. Tatsugiri. Tatsugiri. Yeah, yeah Tatsugiri. Tatsugiri. Yeah. Um, I knew Tatsugiri, yeah, because it's, so I got uh, confused for a sec. Yeah. So Tatsu is a dragon, actually. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. It's one of the most intelligent it's dragon the, Pokemon. The, where is it? Yeah. Then what's Giri mean? Is it like fish? Maybe. Anyway. It came and watches itself by inf inflating its throat sack. Oh. I don't think that's how camouflage works. Or would Geary be like ball because like Oni Geary is like rice ball. I don't know Japanese. Or do you? <laughs> that, right, it's very clear that I don't know Japanese. Oh my oh yeah, I forgot. This Pokemon just has a has a shell eating the slow bro oh, no. tail. Yeah, that's oh, no. that's an evolution. Yep. A Pokemon eating their tail. Doesn't a uh, Slow King have a Mega Evolution that just the 
entire thing on his shell eats him. No, that's slow bro. And then there's... Oh yeah, slow bro. Oh yeah, slow king and slow bro are... Yeah, you always forget they're different. Slow king has a Galar... I think it's Galar. It's Galar DLC form. That's pretty cool. So there's slow bro if I remember correctly. Mm-hmm. I need to be getting better. It's already raining, dumbass. Wow. He was rain dance. I need to get better at making these cards faster. He was rain dance. <laughs> this slowbro keeps using rain dance. Ah, uh, yes, that's very helpful when fighting a fucking land shark. Psycho. I'm sure your rain. I'm sure your rain dance is gonna help you a lot against the fucking shark. The rain stops. Well, the rain is already happening. Oh. Got him. Let's see what the Pokédex entry says about them. Slowbro, the hermit crab Pokemon. That's not. That's. <laughs> he's, well, he has no thoughts. He's so dumb. <laughs> if, <laughs> if the tail biting shelter is thrown off in, in a harsh battle, this Pokemon reverts to being an, an ordinary slowpoke. He looks like he's high. Oh, uh, yeah, the only way. To, yeah, if you just take that off his tail. He's no longer a slow bro. He's a slow poke. It's just literally the exact same thing. Yeah. Just mm -hmm. with uh, just with that thing biting its tail. Yeah. He's a good boy. Hey, by the way, in in a Pokemon game, there was a a team evil team that were selling the, this Pokemon's tails for a million dollars. Yeah, it was oh, Team wow. Rocket. Yeah, they cut them off and yeah, man, like they can wow. grow back. That still fucks. Lock on the Pokemon! It makes me think of this one dumbass on YouTube. The thing is... Well, it's oddly fitting. His uh, his YouTube name is Zach Ketchum All. Huh. Oh. Uh, he does, oh he does primarily fishing stuff, and he is <clears throat> awful. Absolutely awful. He pet heavily catchy. abuses the animals oh. that he has and that he keeps as pets. Both oh. through putting them into terrible environments as well as just directly doing things that harms the animals. Because he like likes to fancy himself as some kind of animal doctor whisperer when he clearly knows literally nothing. A good example. Uh, and like the main thing that I'm thinking of is he has a bunch of axolotls, right? Mm-hmm. Um, uh, there, he made a video, one, where he fed a bunch of axolotls to his pet catfish to figure out whether or not it was safe to what eat the, the axolotls. Yeah. What the yeah. fuck? Yeah. And then, there was another one where they were literally cutting off of, cutting off the limbs of some of the axolotls. Both to oh. see them grow back, and the, his slight justification that he gave for doing this. He said, like, their limbs aren't growing properly. The thing that he doesn't mention is the fact that the limbs aren't growing properly because the axolotls were stunted from being put into a terrible environment. Oh, god damn it. It's awful. I'm not- I was wrong, Hatchet. What? In order to get Palmot, I have to walk a thousand steps with Oh Palmot. no. Yeah, I have Palmot. Oh. Guess what I had to do. Guess oh. what I had to do. Guess the pain that I had to do for that motherfucker. Would you Child. like... Hold on, Dragon. Would you like uh, a version exclusive for your Palmot? If you trade him back. Uh, Sure. I don't care. I, oh, yeah. I just want the Pokedex entry. 
Yeah, that's an idea. Yeah, that's an idea. So, child gives you Palmot, you give the child a version exclusive, and then you trade it back, the child gives you a version exclusive for their end, and they get the Palmot back. Yeah. Well, I would have to go to catch, go catch one. Wait, I'll go catch one. Yeah. Yeah, true. I guess oh, you could do that later. I'm gonna guess. Oh, yeah, my egg thing wore off, because yeah. there was no eggs in the basket. Yeah. Damn. Also, Fletchinger, the Ember Pokemon. Its territory has a radius of just over a mile. If any bird Pokemon should enter, it'll, it'll show them no mercy. Let's see, what's a version exclusive? I, actually, I feel like I have one. Okay, I will be right back. I am going to go see about getting some stuff. Got it. Mm. Just need to see what next Pokemon I need to get. So, I'm not counting the starters at the moment. Let's see. Okay. Gum shoes. Uh, I'll form it a cavern. Where the fuck is that? There are many caves in this game. You're probably gonna have to find that. This is so crap trail. Should be labeled on the map. Checking the edges. Let me see if you can, like... <clears throat> Maybe see if you can, like, get a... Inlet card on The destination by, like, looking at the Pokédex entry. Oh, well, it's in the Inlet Grotto. I can go here. So that is destination. You can just go here. Lie there. Yes. You can probably also get a Hound Doom as well, which is something else I also need. Catching a version, I think I think the version exclusive I'm gonna give you, I think you'll like. down there. Don't think I got a Wingle. Wingle! I actually surprisingly haven't gotten a Wingle either. I don't know why. But I just haven't. The fuck did you not kill that? It's level two. I'll swipe. Yep. Wingle, the seagull Pokemon. It rides upon ocean winds as if it were a glider. In the winter, it hides food around its nest. Yeah, darn if you couldn't tell, I'm trying to fill out my Pokedex. Mm -hmm. Did I catch up, Uzel? 
Bui. Mm. I think you. Yeah, you caught it. Okay. Then I don't need to go after it. Alright, yeah, let's go in here. <laughs> Is that it right there? No, that's the pre evolution. I need the evolution. Don't need you. Don't need you, don't need you. Probably be up here. No. Take that. Not a view. Might be up here. I want to be on the ground. It'll be that was a hound drawer. Yeah. I already got hound door on the on the thing. We do have a chance of spawning in here. So I'm just gonna ride around till I see what I need. Let's diglet, diglet. Hound door. It's a free evolution of that. Heard something. Thing over here. Phantom Force. That's actually a really good move, too. Okay, so I don't see anything. <laughs> I don't see either of them yet. That's out. Oh! Uh, thank you, Red Joker. Thank you for the raid. Oh my god. Right now, I'm just... Hey, yeah. Alright, so let's go back down and see if... We missed anything. Because I need to find the damn Pokemon I need. Well, obviously I did miss something. I didn't notice about this cave down here. Let go of the wall! Let go of... Oh my goodness. I'm gonna lose it. My fucking legendary. Thank you. I didn't want you to climb. One sex switching device wall. Okay. That's fair. That's back out there. Sonic so Sonic 06 moment. Yeah. I remember the Game Grumps episode about that. I can confidently say that this game is better than Sonic 06. Oh, yeah. I haven't played Sonic 06. I think the chances of the Pokemon I want of spawning are really low. Which sucks. Do one last run. If I don't find either of them, I'll go to another cave. God damn it. Fucking diggle it. Block on the way. I still don't see. I return. 
Ah, oh, welcome oh. back, Hat Hatchet. I am looking for two Pokemon. The Donald Trump guy and Houndoom. Wait, did you get raided? Yeah. Oh. One viewers. Uh, I now have cinnamon rolls and sausage links. No. Wait, so, so you know the pre-evolution of the the champion's ace? You want to know what it's called? What? You want me to read what it is? Hello? Yeah, we can hear you. What? Okay, okay. Um, so, it is... Uh, it's called Glim- uh, Glimmet? Glimmet? It's the ore Pokemon. It absorbs nutrients from cave walls. The petals it wears are made out of crystallized poison. Oh. It is apparently two feet tall and weighs 17 pounds. Oh. Crystallized poison. How yeah. the fuck does that work? Don't question it. Pokemon logic. I am questioning it. Ah, I would not like to give the small ball to the name. I got Oricoro. Child. Anyway. That's what it looks like. <laughs> Oricoro. The energetic, cheerful dance of these Oricoro is popular with children, but the Oricoro themselves are hard to find and Parmesan. There. It's got another new Pokemon while I was trying to find two Pokemon I needed. So I think, uh... By technicality, it's not a new Pokemon. You know what I meant for the Pokedex. Yeah. That was awesome and decided to make cinnamon bolts for me on birthday. Nice. That's nice. Let's go back down They ain't old main, but they're still good. Yeah, at this rate, like, my mom, like, bakes cakes fairly frequently. Mm -hmm. So anytime it comes to someone's birthday, she basically, like, if it's not her birthday, she asks my dad or I uh, if there's, like, anything specific that we'd like for our birthdays. Last year I had banana cake, or banana bread. Ooh, banana bread. I haven't had banana bread in a long time. I miss banana bread. It tastes very good. Yeah. And this year, she's making me a couple batches of cinnamon rolls, and I'm happy. Yippee! I see. I usually just eat regular uh, whole bread or monkey, monkey bread. What's monkey bread? Oh, is that, like, the stuff that's, like, chained together? Uh, it's a mixture of, like... Almonds, cinnamon, cinnamon bread thing. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm not seeing either of the Pokemon I need. God damn it. You called out their names. Fuck off, hey. Hatchet. <laughs> okay, Look, Hatchet. So Oh, god damn it. He's trying. Okay, so I caught the Glamora Pokemon. It's again the Gore. Uh, it's again the Ore Pokemon. While this Pokemon detects danger, it will it will open up its crystalline petals and fire beams from its co canina. Conical, conical body. Oh, conical, yeah. It's four foot eleven and weighs almost a hundred pounds. Jesus. Big boy. Well, actually, kind of like small boy, but hefty boy. Mm. Small, hefty, hefty boy. boy. Disproportionately heavy boy. <laughs> Dachshund. Now we know it's a heavy boy. 
Oh, fuck. Who made Lady Gaga into a Pokemon? Lady Gaga did. <laughs> Have you seen her outfits? Lady Gaga! I forgot if it was Lady Gaga or what if it was Katy Perry, but one of those two voted Republican and bragged about it on Twitter. Both. Oh. Screamtail, Paradox Pokemon. There has been only one reported sighting of this Pokemon. It resembles a mysterious creature depicted in an old exploration uh, journal, and it just it's a fancy looking Lady Gaga Jigglypuff. I can't find a damn cave I'm trying to look for. How many Pokemon are in my Pokedex? 132. Why the fuck are Magikarp so stupid? It's the toxin going to their brain. <laughs> yeah, it, it if it was if uh Pokemon World had Florida, then the Magikarp would have been the ones that tested positive for pharmaceutical drugs. You don't test positive for pharmaceutical drug? Well, obviously I do. I'm on medications. True. Now, here's a question. What place in Pokemon is Florida? I don't know. I'm, there's a roach on my wall. I'm going to catch it in my wall. <laughs> I caught it. It's in the water bottle now. Congratulations. You now have a roach. I have a Pokemon. <laughs> I'm actually <laughs> kind of surprised that there isn't a roach Pokemon. And it seems like such a missed opportunity. Okay, thank you. Just need it. I just needed. I know where the fuck the thing is. Okay, so South Providence Area 2. Area 2 Watchtower. Okay, so that was it. Uh, yeah, I'm just watching the roach, and I don't I think it understands that it's stuck in plastic. What are you going to do with the roach? Keep it there. Just keep it there? Yeah. Did you just, like, did you, like, shut off its air supply? Yep. Bruh. So Roaches can live right a surprisingly long time without oxygen, if I remember here. correctly. Well, still. Right. If you're going to kill it, then just kill it. But yeah, I don't know. Get... Hatch, they like torturing. It's not like torture, I'm just keeping it there. Innocent the little bugs. I'm just keeping it there. Otherwise known as torture. Can we just sound a child? What? I already did. <laughs> I, you, you didn't. What? You're now been disowned. How do you feel? Well, Hatchet never adopted me to begin with. Or did they? You don't. You don't need. I don't need to have adopted you to disown you. What are you gonna do? Disown me as a friend? Maybe. How that works? You know what? I'll disown you as a calculator. I'm not a calculator. Exactly. I'm disowning you as a calculator. But, it's not but, torture, the roach is just in the PC, lol. Yeah, see? Someone Those... gets it. Some bookworm. Someone understands. Wait. Mouse like to urge to bite people in the PC since my emote cannot be used here. Oh no. <laughs>
Two. Two. <laughs> Apparently they can't use any moat. Okay, by the way, I got the, the, the version exclusive, if you want to trade. Well, I'm in the middle of something right now. Catching an Arcanine. Well, well that, that was, was easy. Quick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm in the middle of something right now. Oh, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> I am about halfway through gathering bamboo sharks, and then I'm going to probably move on to dogfish. Yeah. Arcanine. Legendary Pokemon. Its magnificent, magnificent magnificent, bark conveys a sense of majesty. Anyone hearing it can, can't can help but gravel before it. Gravel. Fuck off. Oh yeah, this Pokemon is actually meant to be a legendary. But they changed their minds. Uh, they kept the name. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm just, you know the, the Area Zero lab? I'm just going through the labs and stuff. Okay, you can go back to the hangar area where you got onto Maridon and jumped down, or I guess flew down. And you can just interact with everything, like, around. Like, there used to be a machine that you would you, be able to push. Oh, well, that one's broken. Yeah. You ready, Dragon? Yeah. Same code as we always use? Yeah. Oh, uh, you're on offline mode, by the way. I don't know how to activate it. Trust me. You're a dumbass. See? Activated. Dumbass. Just go into the surprise trade and it comes activated. Okay, so Pokey Portal. Oh, I can't use Pokey Portal on Area Zero, apparently. Well, get out of Area I'm Zero. Uh, I'm guessing the code that we always use? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Pokey Portal. Link trade. Sorry. Oh dare. <laughs> the real pseudo legendary is born. No one found. I'm putting it in the code. Hurry it up. Shut up. I have it already saved. Yeah, well, I don't, dumbass. Why do you keep deleting it? Found a trade partner. Oh, there's a failure. <laughs> You're a failure. Okay. Yeah, so I am. So I give you Hamlet. You give me a version exclusive. Give me the that one. Give me that one. Yeah, you have no. to give me Hamlet back. Okay, he's been on my party since level five. You have to give him back. Yeah, I will. Thank you. Five seconds later, I just turn off the switch and just go to bed. He's my special boy! No, in actuality, five seconds later, you, you, uh, you know, you go to random trades and, uh... <laughs> oh, please, no, he's my special boy! He's, his name is Hamlet. Palmot, hands-on Pokemon. The Palmot's fluffy fur acts as a battery. It can store the same amount of electricity as an electric car. Okay. That's a very... That's that's an odd unit of measurement, but okay. Level 69. Hey, you... Yep. That wasn't intentional. 
Actually, you can check its summary. Oh dear god, what am I looking at? Lady Gaga. What am I looking at? Lady Gaga. <laughs> what is this? Lady Gaga. That is not Lady Gaga, what the You fuck? want a different one? No, that's, that's good. Just what the fuck? You know what, if you give me Deli Bird, I'll give you another version exclusive. Okay, I mean, it's version exclusive oh, for you. You have to A. Oh, wait, no. do I have to A? Never mind, yeah. I have to A. Never mind. Dumbass. Shut up. <laughs> what did they do to, to it? Did Don't Hatchet see it? Shame it? Yeah, I saw, but I'm focusing on stuff. On epaulet sharks. Be a hammerback, my boy, my special little boy. Oh, let's see what my Pokédex entry says. Screamtail, the paradox Pokémon. It resembles a mysterious Pokémon described at, in a paranormal magazine as a jigg Jigglypuff from one billion years ago. Wait, how old is the planet? Oh my god. How old I, is- I'm- I'm glad that that evolved. I'm glad that that evolved. Yeah. Right? Oh, what the fuck did they do to Among Us? Right? What? <laughs> if you're surprised by the planet being over one million years old- No, I'm talking I'm... about the Pokemon world. Cause... Well, the Pokemon world still. Yeah. If you're surprised by that, I'm concerned for you. No, like, because I know there wasn't, like, sophisticated life like that on our planet. Like, a full-on mammal one billion years ago on our planet. Who says, who, who says Jigglypuff, I, I'm sorry, not Jigglypuff, Lady Gaga is a mammal. And who says that, who says that, like, that their planet isn't a lot yeah, older than ours? That's what I was questioning, like, how old is the Pokemon world planet? Who knows? Because <laughs> if that thing was alive two, one million, uh, one billion years ago, Jesus, that's a really old planet. Oh, it say one billion years ago or one million? One billion. Oh. Yeah. I mean, that's still like... I'm willing to guess that since this is roughly based on Earth, that it's been around for a similar amount of time. Alright, let's see what this says. Groot Bonnet, the Paradox Pokemon. It bears a slight resemblance to a Pokemon described in a dubious magazine as a cross between a dinosaur and a mushroom. Wait, my, uh, Iron Bundle has a has a fucking Pokédex for me. Uh, Iron Bundle, Paradox Pokemon. Its sh its shape is similar to a robot featured in a paranormal magazine article. The robot was said to have been created by an ancient civilization. Ancient? What? My book was from the was future. Epilet sharks. Wait, They're I have so to read. Fucking cute. No, I got Hamlet back. I I I paused for a moment because I was like, wait, did I get Hamlet back? I did. I I'm gonna ask. I'm so happy. I'm looking at pictures of epilet sharks. No. Fuck you. Okay, wait. I didn't actually look at iron, whatever the fuck. What are you? What are you? It resembles a certain Pokemon introduced in a paranormal magazine. It's described as the offspring of Hydrangean that fell in love with a robot. What? The dragon did what with a robot? Fell in love. love. Are you saying I don't robots can't have love? Creates... Yeah, but I don't think it creates an entire being. You don't know. 
It said that it resembles the thing that fell in love. What so is I your guess... reading comprehension? No, 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 no. Oh wait, it resembles a certain Pokemon introduced in the paranormal and is described as an off as the offspring of a hydrangea that fell in love with a robot. Oh, an offspring. Okay, I miss her, Jim. My bad. Exactly. Fuck you. I mean... Yeah, fuck me too. <laughs> wait, that sounds wrong. Could you Never have mind. That's Dumbass. not what I meant. <laughs> Someone gave the robot actual gametes. But what's wrong? What's wrong, Bright? You don't like it, Lady oh, Gaga? Where is it? I haven't seen any Pokemon. Thank... Oh, thank. Oh, god damn it. Oh, another sword. It's not a sword. It's a... It's your mom. Shut up. Your mom is cool and swaggy. There are many ways I would describe my mom. Swaggy is not one of them. Well, she, would would... Probably, she would probably take it as an insult. <laughs> I need to get a female. The likely chances of me getting a female are slim to none. How is Swaggy an insult? Uh, because my mom is a bit old-fashioned and she would probably assume it was some weird new thing called... Swang. Mm, Damn. I hate how sal uh, Salad it's, uh... Female population is so low. I'm pretty sure it's 50. 50, isn't it? No, no. I'm pretty sure it's like 80 20. It says I have four shinies battled, and I paused for a moment because I was like, wait, I only, I only got into three fights with a po uh, shiny po Pokemon. And then I remembered, oh yeah, I evolved one of them. That's probably what it's counting as another Pokemon battled. Damn. I just need a female. Yes! And now you know what it's like to be Elon Musk. Oh my god, that shit. Close, it's 87.5% male for Salandit. Okay, so I was close. Oh, I thought, okay, I thought it was like 50-50. No, yeah, it's rare for females. That's why there's... Okay, I can't say it. Wait, no, it was set in a Pokedex. Uh, that's why there's harems. I can't believe the word harem is canonically used in the Pokemon universe. I'm not. I mean, it's not even inherently that 18 plus. Yeah. Fair it's point. just describing an extremely niche relationship style. Mm hmm. Yeah. That is true. Only female Salandit can produce gas laden with pheromones. Males in Transpiatus gas will do whatever the females tell them. Kids game. Fascinating. So notice this wasn't the cave I'm actually looking for. However, I did get another Pokemon I needed. Hermes! I'll take... Fucking shit. Yeah, I don't have you, so I'll take you. Child. Right, why do you keep grabbing children? Well, they have to go to the orphanage one way or the other. Oh. Did, did you turn that thing into an orphan? Maybe. An orphan? <laughs> <laughs> an Shut orphan? Shut up. <laughs> Alright, Namakahita. Guts Pokemon. 
It toughens up by summoning into thick trees over and over. It gains a sturdy body and dauntless spirit. Spirit. Is that how you gain? Is that how you get a sturdy body? You just slam yourself into the trees? Yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. I'm gonna go try that tomorrow, maybe. Oh, don't do that. I'm tempted what? to just go to a random yeah, therapist and say, slamming trees helps you get a sturdy body, right? <laughs> I think they would put you in the ward. Oh no, not the ward. Don't worry, I already burned 420 of them down. What? What the fuck, Bright? <laughs> Don't put me in the ward. <laughs> I don't think that's true. <laughs> Blaze it says bookworm. I like how I'm getting every Pokemon except for the ones I'm looking for. Right, do you 420 Blaze it, huh? I will not confirm nor deny it. Right, you could put the like Pokemon you're looking. You could put those like Pokemon in your team and level them up. Yeah. Okay, like, so uh, this is it. This is a two percent spawn rate. I'm not complaining. Little baby. Destroy it. I need it, Hatchet. Render it dead. Technically, it's Eliminate. already on the brink of death, so... Eliminate. What are you, Venom? Yes. Eddie. Eddie, we do not use they-them pronouns because we are non-binary. We use they-them pronouns because we are two fucking people. Okay. We are Venom. The Rockhead Pokemon. It's, oh, believed, it's believed that it'll be able to fly one day... Wait, it's belief that it will be able to fly one day is apparently the influence of information carried in its genes. Yeah, it throws itself off cliffs. Yeah. Well, that's depressing. No, it's oh, fine. Oh, it thinks it's fun. It thinks it's fun. It thinks it's fun to die. No, yep. it doesn't die because it's head. That's why its head's hard. Mm. I don't think that's going to save you from that much blunt force trauma. Look, it probably has enough trauma from existing. Yeah, so why add more? Because it's haha -ha funny. Alright, let me leave, because I obviously did not get to the cave I'm supposed to go to. But I did get a good amount of Pokemon what? that I needed. I'm trying to catch a Magnezon and it won't get in the goddamn Right, Pokemon. it should be shot from a cannon. <laughs> Says oh, Bork Quarter. <laughs> Shh, me out of a cannon, Daddy. I love blood force trauma. Oh, fuck. I thought, oh, I thought that Fancy was a... Gib gibble, but it was not a Gibble. I oh, need one. No, I know where Gibbles are. They are my little special baby boys, but <sighs> little little babies, little baby Climb. Boys. Climb to my destination. Oh, yeah, child. Have you gotten done with your fucking apple breeding program? Oh, no. no. Damn, how big is this mountain? Big. As big as it needs to be. As big as a thing. I'm seeing if there's any good Pokemon up here I don't have. Let's see. Did I actually catch any of these guys? I have a feeling I did. Even though we don't walk, baby. When we don't yeah. walk. I caught you. I don't think I caught your evolution right over there. Oh, hell yeah. I just stumbled across an incredibly good photo of a 
Milene Bay Epaulet Shark, which is like a really, really new species. Hell yeah. With the little guys. Nice. Like, I think they were first described in 2010. Fuck yeah. They're this so is gonna be a while. Tiny and cute. Why did that's that's what the partner said? God damn it, Plickworm! You what? <laughs> Nothing. Oh, for shit's sake. Also, the boy apparently linked a YouTube video. I don't know what it is. Motherfucker! I'm gonna punt a child. Wait. Why did you pin that? Don't ask. Don't you love punting children? Ah, uh, then. Knock. Knock. Stack. The rock salt Pokemon. It compresses rock salt in inside of its body and shoots out hardened salt pellets with enough force to. Perforate an iron sheet. Oh, wait a baby rock boy. He pronounced knuckle stock. Frog. So. He looks like a Minecraft uh, frog. <laughs> Actually, his his name is literally just salt stack. Yeah. Oh. The name is literally just salt stack. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I caught you. Gotta catch your evolution over there. No. Good to know. Nice, Lemon. Good job. I am very happy right now. Oh? Because I did not know that there was this many types of epaulet sharks in the world. Damn it. I guess on nine different species. Yeah. Oh, boy. Very sweet boys. Lemon's getting his ass kicked. Well, then go kick ass lemon. I mean, go. Go, go kick go, ass lemon. <laughs> go, go kick the ass of lemon. Kick ass lemon. <laughs> Listen, my brain is not functioning on it on max capacity. I'm looking at epaulet sharks. Fuck no. you. You know what will make your brain work on uh fat like work at fat capacity. <laughs> that that just I'm sounds like encouragement. <laughs> fat capacity. I mean am I wrong? Kick ass. Go kick, kick ass, ass lemon. lemon. Yeah. Alright. Metacham, the Meditate Pokemon. It elegantly avoids attacks with dance-like steps, then launches a devastating blow in the same motion. It's got really big legs. Under thighs. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. Got to keep. Let's do one final double check to make sure there's no Pokemon up here that I need. Go go. Go go. Go go. What are your thoughts on go go? Oh, wait. I think I need that one. Get your ass down here. I am stuck on top of it. And I got tacked by the ostrich. Lol. Get pwned, noob. Okay, so oh for God. my reading session, that is completely good. Um, 
Just shut up, dragon. I don't know how many eggs I have. I think I have Jeez. 30. Over 30. Like, dragon, we already know your thing's not ethical. We already know. Shush. No, yeah. No, it, it is completely ethical. We already so, know it's not ethical. 25, 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, God damn it. God, iNaturalist is such a godsend for this project. Or is it? 50... 55. I have 55 eggs. Why am I being added? Pika oh. stream. Pika stream, yeah. Pika! Pika stream alert. Holy shit, he gaming? He gaming. He gaming! He gaming! Gay? <laughs> well, yeah, that too. <laughs> well, pan. Plus. Yeah. All right, got bombardier. And sexuality is spicy gay. <laughs> Bookworm, hey Twitch, is Chew gay? <laughs> we should go ask Chew. Is Chew gay? Is our Chew is our gay? Is our right. is is our is is? Bombardier. Is our the Chew are gay? Anyway. Is our homosexual? Anyway. Bombardier, item drop Pokemon. Bombardier uses the apron on its chest to bundle up food, which it carries back to its nest, and enjoys dropping things and making loud noises. Pika is not homosexual. Pika is pansexual. Very different. Okay, so then we need to clarify. The new question is, is our Pika pan? Yes. That is the question. The answer, yes. No, yeah. back to our sponsors. I was listening to a prank call video, or whatever that was going on in the background, and I could not tell what, what was the, what. Oh, sorry. I went to Twitch, uh, pick a stream, and asked, "Is our Pika pansexual?" <laughs> well, is he? This is going to be a new Jerry Gay meme. Is our Jiri is our gay? Is our yet our is our is our uh? I think they just had a stroke. That Whatever sounded like respond. a stroke. You should probably go to the doctors. <laughs> I actually thought I did it. Why I didn't know if they were pandas the entire time. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh boy, okay, give me a second. Don't say anything else. I'm heading over there. <laughs> oh, uh... Open Chew stream. Wait, Chew has a bunk redeem. Finally. Wait, how wait, how much does it cost to roll a pulgin? Is it worthwhile to use a thousand points? No. Am I thinking of being an idiot? Yeah, this is the boy. So now I'm kinda wondering. Oh, okay. It's not a new Pokemon. Guess what I still don't have. Ooh, Mudstale. I need to catch you. Please. Anyway, I'm going back to the video. Please don't shout profanity. I mean, actually, it'd be funny. Do it. Oh yeah, this is the This is the Pokemon that weighs heavier than two Steelix. Wait, what one? Mudstale. 
Oh yeah, big boy. It's time to peek a pan. <laughs> Chip's gonna question <laughs> what we're doing. Is on the peek a pan? I can't hear what they're saying because I'm. Sh Cause I put my phone near my mic. Yeah. <laughs> Please tell me they say something funny. <laughs> He said annoyedly, yes, the chew is pan. <laughs> you already did with your comment, right? Yeah, I know. But I wanted to hear Hatchet sing. <laughs> then we'll respond to Hatchet. <laughs> yes, I know, but you see, that's the point. We we have to keep this going until Chu realizes that he is the new... Uh, is Jiri gay? The new Jiri. He is the new Is Jiri gay. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna type something while I'm catching <laughs> this. Don't don't let on that that's what we're trying to do. That's obvious. And okay, how do we do a chew version of Does Jiri collect Huns? All I can think of would be 18 plus, and we can't say that with the child. <laughs> Does Chew enjoy but? <laughs> Does the Chew enjoy being in college? Maybe. Should ask him. <laughs> What'd you say, Bright? I can't hear it, but uh, their reaction. But I said, "Hey, Hatchet, is Pika Pan?" <laughs> oh no! <laughs> she was probably so confused. Oh, he is catching on. <laughs> okay, then no one send any more messages about the pan thing. I think it is a bit for not being in the VC. <laughs> That's not what we're doing. So never mind. <laughs> uh, anyway, Mudstale, the draft ha horse Pokemon. Its legs are fortified with mud and harder than stone. And it can reduce a large truck to scrap with one kick. Well, it is a bit. That's fair. It is a bit. But that's not why sent, we're doing it. I, I simply sent, I am not sure. <laughs> oh. Pika. Thank you for the one bit, bookworm. Now, can I... Ow, my ear says... The boy. Now, can I please stop getting Pokemon that I'm not looking for that I need? <laughs> I would like. No. To, I would like to get uh, the Donald Trump Pokemon and uh, Houndoom. Why would you want that? I need it for the Pokedex. The Pokedex can go shove it. What's this? Magical leaf. Okay. Ooh. Thanks, Emblem, for reminding me to turn down the volume. Oh, yeah, the boy, if you don't know, we commonly call uh, Fire Red Emblem Bookworm. Because yeah. that is their Discord name, and they were in the Discord for a while, but now they're not. Don't know if they'll be back. Like, yada, yada, yada. Point being, that is who we're talking about when we say bookworm. Wait, can I not go up this ladder? God damn it. Ugh. Now, leap of faith. Hmm. 
Now, I better be able to grab this ladder. How can I not grab that ladder? Mm. Indonesian speckled carpet shark. <clears throat> okay. That was close. I almost couldn't then make it on top. Thunder! Yes! I needed that. Alright, time to kill this. Give me all your coins, bitch. This raid, I'm probably just gonna end up putting in all of the Epilet Sharks because I love them all. I put in Indonesian beckled carpet shark. Why am I getting images of fucking gray bamboo sharks? You'll never know. The internet hurts my brain. Or wait, or was that actually the cave? Do I have the baby version? No, I don't. I think I'm almost at 200 apples. Good for you. Very good job. You've continued to create an unprecedented level of suffering in the world. Well yeah. done, child. My favorite activity! I love doing that! That's my favorite activity! You know that? Yippee! Alright, let's see what it says about Rockruff. Rockruff, the puppy Pokemon. This Pokemon travels in a pack with others until it grows up. When its mood turns sour, it starts striking the ground with rocks with the rocks on its neck. Those rocks are really small. I love rock 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 is a little baby boy. I love rock rock. Little baby. Hatchet, what are your opinions on rock rock? It is a dog. Yeah. You could say it has a rough life. You could I, say I own a gun. <laughs> Don't you have a rough life? No. No. I have a fat life. There. I live, eat, and breathe fat. Oh, you just sound like like uh fucking that. Do you. Why did this remember this remind why did that remind me of you know that it's a political cartoon never a good start but it's a political cartoon and so there's a pipe and it's feeding this big fat guy <laughs> and then there's the little like at the below the pipe like people and I don't know their oh, yeah, original yeah. like context for the political meme but every time like every a uh, political cartoon but every time I see it it's just a meme and it's really funny in other contexts, but I don't know the original context of the political cartoon. I'm guessing the original context was, like, talking about the nature of, like, comparing big business owners to the average citizenry. Probably. Mm -hmm. yeah, or, like, if, if it's, like, in a, um... Wait, where is this? Like, like, what is it like? In is it like multiple people who are like that? In like a council room or something like that? What? I'm having troubles understanding what you mean there. 
Yeah. Oh, you have to use an, uh, um, uh, an item to evolve Applin, right? Yep. There are two different evolutions. Do you want an Applin? I have one. You, you, you need two. Do you want, do you want one? Do you want an apple? Just try. Right, be you... careful. The child's trying to the try, child's trying to sell you extremely immorally produced farm apples. <laughs> Do you want for Granny Smith? Do you want a Granny Smith? I'm gonna catch one of these. Oh my god. That's not a no. Go to hell. I will throw yeah. you out of this car. I'm not in a car. <laughs> that you know of. What? How? Penguin acting How like I... the witch slash queen from Snow White. <laughs> Do you want an apple? No. Get a bite. Just, just a bite of this apple. <laughs> just a little one of the sweet little bait. Little bit of a little bit of, you know, you know, a little little bite of this apple. He's mass. He's mass produced apples. Oh my god! Oh wait, shit! I wanted to put that on my team. Oh well. We'll take. I think no, the worst okay. part about how I am mass producing these apples in a small village town. Oh, in a small village or whatever, whatever, you know what it is, small village, um, is the fact that there are a fuck ton of trees around, and applins live in trees, and they hide in the trees. These trees, they are no longer for the birds, they are no longer for any natural entity to live in these trees in this area, they are for the applins. Okay, so now the congratulations, you've made an extremely invasive species. You know, get the Pokedex. And it's not gonna stop anytime soon. Fucking capitalist. <laughs> it's not capitalism, it's different. Okay, so. No, it's, no, it's, you literally yourself described it as capitalist. Fuck, maybe I did. Maybe I did. Fuck. Shit. Um, uh, where's that little, little pen that some dudes in a suit gave me? And where are my sunglasses? What are you talking about? I'm oh. just perpetually <clears throat> ignoring the child at the moment. That's valid. A man in black reference. <clears throat> oh. For, for a second, just... I thought you were talking about Mormons for some reason. Why would I, 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 I be pushed... talking about Mormons? Hey, Dra uh, hey, Aderna. I punched a Mormon once. I still really want to know the context to that. You'll never know. Please? No. Why not? Because I said so, bitch. Please? No. Please. No. Hi. I have two younger siblings. You're not gonna annoy me the same. I want to know. The answer is, uh, I don't give a fuck. I'm not telling you. What? Is it that bad? No. No? It's just that I don't feel no. like telling. Oh. Uh, why? Because I'm an asshole. Okay. What are the four? You know what? If you don't want to, if you want to be less of an asshole, what are the funky three numbers on the back of your credit card? Uh. 420 six, Blazer. 666. Six, six. <laughs> I'll tell. I'll, you know what? Mine. 62340. What? That is not three numbers. Six, seven, seven, five, four. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> We're just confusing Dragon at this rate. I can't. 3,969. I can't, can't scam you with my Apple cryptocurrency. I mean, That's obviously, we wouldn't buy your Apple cryptocurrency. Now, your Apple NFT, maybe. <laughs> Why, no, don't tell me what... That's that's worse to the environment than what I'm doing with the Apple N. Four four no. three five five six. I highly oh, no. doubt it, Dragon. No, Dragon. I'm between I'm running a single a NFT and releasing a massive amount of an invasive species into an environment. I'm guessing that the latter causes more economic or causes more ecological damage. They're both bad. They are both bad. One is worse. You are the worse one. Well, what if I'm running both? <laughs> then hey, you Dragon. are double worse. Hey, Dragon, why are you shiny hunting if you don't even have a shiny charm? Because I can. The shiny charm makes it easier. I know, but what if I don't want it to be easy, hmm? You're a dumbass. Yeah, you just wanna you just wanna do it in a harder way that's more unethical. Okay, no, the Masuda method only takes six hundred. With a shiny charm how much would a shiny charm be? I don't know how I much. I think it would be two. cut in half. Fuck. Probably. It's still unethical. It's still unethical, penguin. Womp womp. Womp womp. Alright. So, let's, let's see. Where do I need to go for this Pokemon? So I thought I knew where it was, but I did. North Providence, Area 1. Okay, so North Providence. Oh, I'm in the south. No wonder why I couldn't find it. Fail. I'm a genius. Do, 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 do. Please be a shiny. Please be a shiny. Please be. Fuck, it's red. God damn it. <laughs> Fuck you. No. Right, send help. I think the child's trying to cast a spell on us. <laughs> no. A math spell. And it's not very effective, but it's annoying. Yeah, then it's effective. It's effective at annoying you. It's not a very good spell. Yeah. You should go back to witch school. Fuck you. You ah. should go back. You should go back to to fucking Don't gamer die, don't school. die, don't die, don't die. Fuck You know that? Right, did you kill the child? I was trying to catch it. And fall swipe doesn't work on it. Right, killed a child Damn. I'm on the dream. Damn. I wasn't trying to. I... You are a failure. I'm gonna report you to the the uh the children murder Pokemon cops. I'm thinking CPS would like to have a talk with me first though. What would the Pokemon equivalent of CPS be? Pokemon League. I was gonna say PPS, but <laughs> it would just be shortened to PPS. <laughs> I can't hurt it. Have you tried tickling its face? Shut you up, wanted gotcha. to say something different, didn't you? Yes, yes, I did, and then I stopped myself. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Go on. I can't. Right, it's fresh. No shit. And now you're dragging as fleas. <laughs> what? Right's dragon has fleas. 
Got it. There we go. Drippy. You shall name that Pokemon Bong Water. <laughs> Actually, that's an amazing name. Did you know if you drink Bong Water, you'll fucking die? Uh, sure. I would imagine. Drippy. It's really, like, it has extremely concentrated amounts of, uh, oh, I forgot the name of it. Like, the residue of the initial smoking that's, like, way more potent. Mm -hmm. You yeah. can, you can name them Shoot Me. <laughs> that does look like a Shoot Me. As in Shoot Me Out of the Cannon Day. Oh, god as damn it. In, as in the Shoot Me Out of the Cannon Day. <laughs> anyway, Treppy, the lingering Pokemon. It has a habit of biting at Clauncher, even though it doesn't feed on them. This is said to be vestigial behavior from when Treppy was alive. Oh, it's a ghost? Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Dragon ghost. This... Also, how did you pronounce that? Clauncher. Vestigi no, vestigial. The... Did you... Okay, how the fuck did you pronounce that relatively complicated word so perfectly, and yet you stumble on such basic words like awry? Fuck you. <laughs> it's, a, it's a genuine question. <laughs> You'll never know your, the answer. Your bullshit confuses me very frequently. Shiny, shiny, shiny. Okay, I'm hoping this is an evolution, it'll survive. Yes, it did! Freshnet. Freshne. God damn it. Freshne! What? I'm trying to pronounce the name of this Eplet shark. It was named after a French navigator of a ship. Oh. Or was it? Guess what, what? I have finally. No. Guess what? I'm lying about having. No. Shut up. Did you finally get your damn shiny so you can stop being a no. monster? No. Then why are we having this conversation? Because I'm. I. Ah. Uh... You know. Ah. Uh... Oh. Well, that was easy. I cut the evolution lock quicker. Oh my god. There's a Henry's Epaulet shark. Who the fuck is Epple? It, who the fuck is Epaulet? Who the fuck is Henry, and why does he have an Epaulet shark named after him? Anyway. Dracloak, the caretaker Pokemon. This Pokemon starts Oh, wait, what did you just say? Dracloak. No, like the what? Like its title? Caretaker Pokemon. Oh. Okay. What did you think I said? Uh, nothing. Carry on. Anyway. This Pokemon stores up energy in its lungs, then shoots it out, then shoots it out. It takes care of Dreppy and battles alongside them until they're, they're all grown up. <laughs> Hatchet says, got oh, bonked. Bonked. yeah, you got bonked. Oh, god damn it, Hatchet. <laughs> I immediately saw what you were thinking. <laughs> God damn it, Hatchet. I do not regret my decisions in the slightest. Uh huh. You say that like you're doubting me. Well. Oh. get what's so what's what's wrong about mm -hmm. wanting a green apple hmm i want henry's epaulet shark henry's epaulet shark is very cute that's a, yeah oh, it's still there why was what was a child concerned what you'll never know the air 
fun fact of the day. No. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I find that one in funny in particular? <laughs> Fun fact was... of the day. No. <laughs> Fun... Fun... Fun fact of the day. No. Just... No. <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> Fun fact of the day. No. The sun can and will instantly bake brownies for you if you give it some free weed. That's not how that works. I think we should have just kept saying no. <laughs> I think if we'd all put, be better. For if it. you put a giant pan of brownies near the sun, it will only take about 30 minutes to be finished. I think the reason why it was so funny was because it was so perfectly timed. Yeah, it was perfectly timed. <laughs> It's kind of fun fact of the day, says the boy. There's a cartoon sized boulder outside your house. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, wrong stream. <laughs> if you look outside your window, there is a dog looking back. You are looking at your reflection. You've been turned into a furry. Oh, fuck. Wait, nothing's changed. <laughs> I'm not a furry. And you feel the need to say that. <laughs> not with that no one attitude. Was saying that you were a furry. Not with that attitude. Fun fact. Go on. I saw it. Yeah, uh, no, I'm just not a furry. Oh, sweet. Pokemon, I need. Come here, bitch. No. You're not a furry yet, right? The important word uh, is yet. Good luck trying to trying to do it. Good luck. So uh, I have never felt that way. There's more than one way to be a furry. <laughs> or I've never felt any oh, of the what ways. way. Any right, of are the you ways. A fleshy? Oh, what? <laughs> a fleshy. What? Excuse Wait, me. Do you what? like? Right, do you like animated animal cartoons? <laughs> I... What? Do you like things like Mickey Mouse animated animal cartoons? No. What about The Lion King? I mean... <laughs> I like the movie, I didn't think of anything about the characters except that they're animals. That's it. Therefore, you are a furry. How does that make any sense? Hold on. Because, because to a certain extent, because to a certain extent, like the earliest vein of buriedom is literally just, I like, like I like drawn and animated animals more than most. No, I like anime more than the fucking Lion King. Oh really? Yes. Then I guess you're a furry. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Wait, how many people in this in this voice call are furries? I'm the only I... one who's not. What? I'm the only one who's Technically, not. Technically, I'm not a furry, but I am. I'm a scaly, but yeah. I've always yeah. heard that as like like scalies being like a subset of furries. Like furry, both refers to the. Like mammalian folks, but also to just the broader culture surrounding animated animals. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Pyroar, the royal Pokemon. The mane of a male Pyroar heats up to, to over three thousand six hundred degrees Fahrenheit during battle. Merely approaching it will will cause severe burns. Jesus. Also, he's a lazy fuck. I can relate. <laughs> Yeah, luckily I don't have to catch the female. What does the female one say, though? I don't care, I'm not catching it. Why? Because I don't need it. And it's not where I need to go. You are a cruel person. I am sending a Bookworm. <laughs> I don't need the female, Bright. We don't need the females. 
Oh my god. That could be really easily so taken back right now. <laughs> You yeah. just sound like oh, an yeah. incel. That's the point. <laughs> Hello, my name is my mom left me when I was five. Uh, Your mom left you when you were five? Damn, that's rookie numbers. Mine left me when I was one. When I was a newborn. I was popped out and then left. Damn. I was left. Like, my, mom mom left me be my mom left me before I was born. <laughs> I was about to say that. <laughs> my mom left me before I was uh wait. Conceived. conceived. Yeah, I was about I was about to say something else and then I remembered, oh wait, maybe I should avoid saying that, that particular word. God damn it. My mother left me before my my father was created. Oh. <laughs> How old is your mom? My mother left me before the my mother left me before the bombs hit Japan. Oh my, my god. My mother oh left god. me oh my before god. the meteorite hit the earth, eliminating all dinosaurs. My mom left me during the great dying mass extinction. My mother left me at the Big Bang. My, my mom <clears throat> Oh my god. The my mom left me during the previous Kalpa cycle. What? <laughs> god damn it. A uh, child, the con uh, a Kalpa cycle is a concept out of the Elder Scrolls series. It's basically the universe, uh, the universe's cycle of destruction and recreation. Yeah. So a previous so a previous Kalpa cycle is before the current iteration of Tamriel came into existence. Yeah. That's also that's also where the Yakutans or the Red Guards came from. Hmm. They managed to uh they alongside their enemies, I what was it, the left handed elves? managed to hop, skip, and jump their way into our Kalpa cycle instead of getting destroyed. Why left-handed elves, specifically? I honestly don't know. I don't know why they're called that. Don't ask me. Do they actually use their left hands? No, they're just normal elves. Oh, normal elves considering they came from a different Kalpa cycle, but you know what I mean. Is like, the nickname they, they... just bullying them? It actually might be, come to think of it. It might have, like, <clears throat> like, it might have been, like, the Red Guards engaging in cultural erasure because they don't call them by what they actually called themselves. And they called them by a derogatory nickname, and now that's the only records we have of their people. That's depressing. Yeah, I was about to say, that's depressing. The Elder Scrolls world is so depressing. <laughs> Like, in the fact that in Elder Scrolls Skyrim, you have to choose between two equally fucked factions. Like, one's, like, lesser evil, I guess, technically, but it's also, like, oh, god. Do you mean for the Civil War? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's, like, Fascist 1 versus Fascist 2. But yep. it's, it's, it's basically hyper-sectarian Fascist 1 or, uh... Massive fucking controlling empire one. And I'll still always hold that the empire is the way to go. Because at the very least, they're less... Well, they're less fucking racist. Yeah. And like, in terms of the whole religious oppression, they literally only did that because they were forced to by the Old Mary Dominion. Who are kind of implied to have like an overall like end of the world plan like almost be a doomsday cult that actually has the means to bring about a doomsday Here. yeah oh sweet that was easy Haunter. not to mention there's the fact that it's directly like within the text of the game like, within a particular leaflet, it's made pretty clear that if he's not an active... Like, I don't think he's 
No, it specifically says he's not an active asset, but he could very easily be a sleeper agent of uh, the Elmeri Dominion, Ulfric Stormcloak, I mean. Leader of the Stormcloaks. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Like, the, it, like, there is a document that directly talks about how the Old Mary Dominion manipulated him into trying to start and to making this civil war. Oh. Which would then divide up the Empire, their main enemy, further. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Haunter, the gas Pokemon. In total darkness, where nothing is visible, Haunter lurks silently stalking its next victim. I thought you already had a haunter. No. I didn't catch it. Uh, right. He died. <laughs> Not the Pokemon I was looking for, but I'll take it. I'm looking for a fat squirrel. Okay, so fishes, epaulet shark, Henry's epaulet shark, hooded epaulet shark, Milne Bay yes. epaulet shark, speckled epaulet shark. So I've got five out of the nine. Oh my god! Oh wait! Speckled oh my gosh! Those ghosts are surrounding that little bird on their own. Standard. Yeah, oh, I don't bird. have the stream. Kill bird. Kill bird. bird. Oh well, it's Kill. the Kill. it's the cultural appropriation bird, so it's fine. No, in the background. Oh. <laughs> they're just surrounding that poor bird. They're they're trying to get the bird to become one of them. That means kill them. Yeah. Well, they're either gonna kill them or they're gonna convince the bird to get you know kind of go off the cliff. Drown. That's bit. What? That's basically the same goddamn thing. Good point. Yeah. I have decided I am going to add all of the epaulet sharks because they are all very good boys and I can't decide between them. Pick the biggest one and then pick the smallest one. No, I'm adding all, all well, all eight of them. Or is it all oh, there's nine? There's only eight. Okay, that's, that's not that many. Yeah. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, there's nine official species, and there's one that looks to be three, pending. Six. How do you pend a species? It's basically like there's like, um, what there probably was is an early report describing the species, and they're working on getting either a holotype or putting out a study to properly, uh, Make it a holotype. Hmm. Two more eggs from this batch. Let's see. Oh shit, I'll probably take both of you. I don't have either, you guys. I love that. That's no dash button. Not a shiny one. Yippee. Or is it? Cinder. Okay, one of these is called the Cinder Wash. Cinder Wasi. Wasi. Like, Cinder A W A S I H. Epilet Shark. Guess what it is? Not shiny. Not shiny. God damn it. What? I want green apple. The next five will all be shiny, so you can stop this bullshit. <laughs> Alright, Dashbun, the dog Pokemon. The surface of this Pokemon's skin hardens when exposed to intense heat, and its body has an appetizing aroma. Well then. Oh. Is it edible? <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I mean, people do ap eat Applin and Appleton, so probably... Literally anything is edible if you put your mind to it. Oh, sweet. I love oh, to eat a doll's what? eye. What? Yeah, go ahead. I said, oh. I'm talking about the plant, not the... 
Yeah, okay. Go ahead. Go eat it. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Okay. I don't know where any is. Oh, well, maybe you should have thought about that before you suggested eating it. <laughs> the thing is, I can order it. What even is it? What am I encouraging you to eat? The doll's eye plant is one of the most poisonous plants in the world. Uh... It can make you drop dead within seconds. Damn. Yeah, basically it cuts off your circ- It messes with your circulation. I see. Fido, the puppy Pokemon. The yeast in Fido's breath is used for cooking, so this Pokemon has been protected by people since long ago. Also, do you get Hatchet, do you get the pun for its name? What was its name? Fido. Fido. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> you don't like Fido? I don't Ooh. like you. Leave me alone. I'll take you. <laughs> oh, God. That sounds real. That's really mean. Yeah. I love really think uh, at least 50 apple run to this random economy. Yippee. What and are you like? But you like releasing many Atlin into this economy. <laughs> yep. I love ruining the economy, don't you? Yeah. All right, Bennett, the marionette well, Pokemon. More than it already is. Yeah. <laughs> Strong feelings of hatred turned a puppet into a Pokemon. If it opens its mouth, its curse energy escapes. Well, then keep its mouth open so that it runs out of it. Oh, yeah. If this Pokemon ever finds its trainer, they will kill them. Oh. Yeah. If it's a, a trainer before it was turned into a Pokemon, that is. Like, person who threw away the puppet. They will, they will, they will literally kill them. That's not the trainer. That's their previous owner, though. Yeah. The dick face. Thing is though, okay. The thing is, is it's it could be like someone innocently getting rid of it. It didn't specify if the person got rid of it because they just don't like the thing, or if yeah. they just got rid of it because they threw it out as a puppet. It's either or, which is terrifying because imagine getting rid of something and it becomes fucking haunted. Because there are a bunch of Pokemon in this game that are pretty much just haunted regular ass items. Like there's a stump Pokemon that's literally. Uh, created because of a dead child haunting a stump because the child got lost and starved in a forest. Yeah. Or died in a forest. Kids game. Yeah. Kids game. And you can catch the children's spirits. And sleep. Huh? So never get God. rid of anything. Problem solved with Bookworm. And don't I go am into a forest with a child. Also, Drif Drifloom, you know the funny little balloon Pokemon? Drifloom. Yeah, that picks up, yeah, Drifloom, uh, that canonically picks up children, uh, but they don't pick up fat children because fat children are too heavy to carry away, so... Ah, I'm immune. Fuck you. Anyway. Also, uh, Liquic. Liquic and its entire line. Uh, Liquic, if you stare at too long at its candlelight, it will steal your soul, and in, uh, and in... Fucking Sword and Shield, there's a lady in one of the buildings you can go into, and she is staring straight on into the flame of a liquid. And she can't look away. Also, there's one thing about uh, Lampent, not many people will notice, mm -hmm. but in one game, it's literal <laughs> Pokedex entry s stated it constantly waits outside the hospital for someone to die so it can consume their soul. Yep. Exact words.